What up, dude? Not much. How are you? Pretty good. We're on. It's all... This is it. We're on? We're in, baby. All We're right. doing it, baby. Newsboys. Newsboys. What's up? How's it going? Good, man. How have you been? I've been doing good. I've been doing good. Here we are. What is this? Episode 15? Who, who knows? Are we that far into it? Uh, yeah. Welcome. Uh, this Welcome is to the flagship show. Welcome to the flagship show. This is the show that all others are compared to. Um, this is the crown jewel in the uh, whitest kids empire. Um, this is, uh, you know what? Oh, by the way, I got an email. Um, uh, or it was a, a comment um, today. Uh, it was from a, a young girl. Um, couldn't have been more than eight or 10 years old. And she was just writing about what a big fan she was of Newsboys. This can't be. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. She was like, she's like, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. She was like, how do you just go out there and just effortlessly um, just fill the time? Amazing. Like, it, you know, she was talking about it and she said she would like to maybe someday be a newsboy or do something like that when she gets older. And she was like, do you have any advice for me? And I was like, well, the only thing I can tell you is that every Friday when Zach and I go out there, we put the whole team on our shoulders. <laughs> that's great advice. It's, that's applicable advice. Yeah. yeah. What you got to do if you want this bad enough is, is you got to put a whole, a whole team on your shoulders. You got to put the whole team on your shoulders. We do it for everyone. And, and you know, uh, you know, we, we, we do a show with everybody, but uh, on, to, on tonight, it's just me and Zach. It's just two guys. I, I, I like to call it uh, distilled genius. Mm. You know? Yeah. Wow. And, and it's just uh, two guys shooting the shit. Uh, this is the bellwether program. Somebody pointed it out in uh, chat. That's right. I like that word. Yeah. This is the bellwether. Bellwether. Uh, so That's quiet. good. Hey, how's my audio, dudes? I feel like my audio is a little fucked up. I'm gonna do a little, uh, little, little fussing, but uh, bear with me. By the way, somebody donated a hundred bucks a little six hours ago. Oh my Own my balls. Ow, my balls. Sorry, ow, my balls. Donated. Said you guys streaming has brought a lot of much needed laughter to a lot of people during this shit year. Happy holidays. Can't wait for Mars. Thanks, man. Wow. Uh, we're gonna great. have a we're gonna have a Mars update somewhere in the show. Um, am I still too quiet? I'm asking chat. Oh, are you? You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fix some audio shit right now. So sorry, sorry, chat. Bear with me. This is a very annoying. This is this is one of the annoying things about streaming on a Mac, is uh, your shit's this all. This is also an endearing part of our show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for um, sure. How is chat doing? Here we are. Okay, that looks good. Hang Towards on. the end of the year. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Love you guys. Okay, now it's blew working. the last self, uh, self suck Saturday without Timmy. He was missed. Look, I miss Timmy too, but I don't think we blew it. Actually, I I, I disagree. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually know for a fact that we didn't. So that person's wrong. Uh, it was uh, one of the ones that I found them uh, not not most fun because Timmy wasn't there, but most fun because uh, we. Uh, what was the thing we were making fun of that we all liked? I have no fucking idea. I can't yeah, there was anything. a thing that we made fun of that we all liked. I don't know. Uh, I'm still getting a Trevor quiet. Maybe it's me. Oh, let me turn. Hang on. No, no, no. I, I can fix it. I can fix it. There you go. Say something. Hey, how's everyone doing? You can go. you hear me now? Got you. Okay. Now we go. Yeah. The Sam's uh, come on me video. Yes. Uh, that was. Oh, that yeah. Was that was fun. good. That was good. That was good. Bitch, you can't come on me. I bitch, you can't yeah. come on me. Don't you yeah. me. Yeah. That would be good. We should, we should actually make it, but that probably won't ever happen. Yeah. No. Um... Uh, and then uh, we got interesting news today, or, or this week from Twitch, which, which I thought was interesting. You're not allowed to say, and I'm going to say it, yeah. simp, virgin, or incel. Simp. Now, I, I think it's okay to say it because we're talking about it. We're not calling somebody that. Okay. Um, I think that's the problem, right? You can't be like, you know. Bullying. Bullying people with those words. But bullying. I think that's just very, very, like, ridiculous. I got to say. Yeah. I mean... Like, who are you listening to about what words are bad at some point? Yeah. You know, like, uh, I mean, it, it, it sounds like you're listening to a bunch of what those words <laughs> are. Yeah. 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 You know? Um, and it's like, here's the thing. You can't ban words 
Because you'll just people will just come up with another word. Exactly. They're trying to enforce people to be nice to each other, and it's like I'm sorry to tell you this, but the internet is the last place that's ever going to work. Yeah, you know? we're not we're not designed to be nice to each other. We no, never, and especially we, not on the internet. Any yeah. any anytime there's like a chat scroll, it's just it, there's going to be viciousness. It's just yeah, because the if you can speak anonymous. anonymously, you can be mean. For the two hundred thousand years or whatever that you know we've been walking around upright. This is the nicest we've ever been. And and we're horrible to each other. Like, you know, yeah. but it's like we're not designed to be nice to each other. And 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 you're not really banning a word is stupid. And I know we're not the first people to go into this, you sure. know, but like banning a word is stupid because they'll just another word will pop up. Yeah. Um uh like uh uh it, 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 it usually is the preferred word. Whatever you say the word is, mm-hmm. um then all of a sudden somebody told me like a story about um you know, like they, they heard somebody using the word diverse with like a thing like, like, I don't want to go to that bar. It's kind of diverse. Oh, great. You know? And so that is now I could totally yeah. see that becoming a, a exactly. pejorative. Some piece of shit redneck, like all of a sudden just took that, which was the preferred thing and has now turned it into. So you can't the word doesn't it's not the word you, you want to ban the idea behind a word and that will never happen. You can't yeah. ban ideas. Yeah. Ideas are bulletproof. Little yeah. pissed lyric for any any punks from the nineties. Um, so, uh, speaking of the word diverse, this is fun. I, I was scrolling through my voice memos to see if I could find any recordings of us brainstorming, mm-hmm. and the oldest one I had, unfortunately, is from twenty eleven. So it's it's post whitest kids, but it's us. It's you and me writing fight barn, and oh, we're really? writing the the dinner scene. And, and it's funny because, so let me just set the stage for people. So uh, I play a young man who comes home from college and, and I like can't get a job. So I'm, I'm living at home with my family. I'm miserable. And my piece of shit brother, played by Sam, is a pot dealer and a total ignoramus backyard wrestling redneck. Mm-hmm. And our our father is the classic whitest kid's dad. Who's like, well, you know, you have to do every. I'm a, I'm a man, and I'm the head of the family. And the mom is like, you know, uh, just a total like, oh, you boys are ridiculous. And who cries all the time? And is, so it's everyone's just kind of a, a stereotype of themselves. Um, but but Sam's talking about how he's a pot dealer, and the dad at the dinner table is like, you, you, you should, your brother has a job. He sells pots, all sorts of. Diverse young men come over and, and, and buy <laughs> pottery from it. It's, it's good. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Should I play this or should we save it for, for another thing? Uh, why don't you play a little bit of it? I don't, I don't know. Let's see, if it, let's see how it is, sounds. Is, it, is it suitable for air? I have no idea. Play? I didn't listen to the whole thing. I listened to like... Well, how much did you listen to? Are we going to get pulled off of uh, Twitch? Uh, dinner scene starts with the dad being like, when I was your age, when I graduated college, I went to work. I didn't move home with grandpa. You know why? Because back then, times were different. Men would have been ashamed... Expected a blah, blah, blah. self-worth, honest day's pay meant something. So, Dad, I'm dying to get a job and get out of here. Your brother has a job? Yeah, I'm a pot dealer. He sells pots. Diverse young men will come. All are, and quite a salesman he is, too. People that you wouldn't normally uh, think would care give two hoots about kitchenware. All sorts of diverse young men come at all hours of the night trying to buy pots from them. Are you trying to say black people? You watch your mouth. <laughs> you watch your mouth. <laughs> Get out of his house, you're upsetting your mother. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. That's edgy. Yeah. Are you, are you trying so, to say black people, Dad? You get out of this house. You're upsetting your mother. <laughs> uh, There's more. See, That's only a third of it. We'll play more later. Well, you got to listen to it before we play it. I know, because there could be some way over the line things said on yeah, that recording. We're, we're, we're playing around with a loaded gun here. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Um, how, uh, how was your week? What did uh, anything? Uh, a lot of people I know got COVID. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, are they young? Are they no, old? some are they some are a little old and uh, really? a little concerning. Um, Family yep. members. Hang on now. Um, let me just fix this so that that doesn't keep happening. Um, hold on, guys. Sorry, display capture. That's what I need to crap. Crap it, baby. And then I got to turn on my do not disturb. My texts are showing up in the on the thing. Um, yeah, and you know, my brother's an EMT in Seattle, right, Sam? 
My brother Sam, not Sam Brown. Yeah, I and, thought you uh, thought I was Sam for a second. I yeah, like I was Sam. talking to him the other day. We were playing Warzone. I was like, how is it up there? Like, what's going on? He's like, dude, it's it's bad. He's like, yeah. hospitals are full. He's like, all my calls are COVID calls. He's like, people are fucking dying. And I was yeah. like, is it like it worse than, than the first spike? He's like, it's worse than it's ever been. And, it, and it's weird. Yeah. Like, nobody's talking about it. He's like, it's, it's, it's so legit bad. Well, we have like, th- is it what, we have 3,500 people dying a day? A day? Dude, 9-11 was less than 3,000. I know. It's like you just get more and more jaded and like, um, you know, because it used to be, remember when the Challenger blew up? Yeah. And then everybody was, the whole, everyone was traumatized. For like a year, people couldn't get over that. And it was like, they were like, oh, we saw it happen. Six people, like six people died, you know? Yeah. You know, but it really rocked us to our, our but that was That was also, it was like the, the, the space program was like you know the pride of the nation it exploded in front of us it wasn't just the loss of life it was like wow our our you know right yeah i'm trying to make a point here all right might be might be Um, (laughs) 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 no but then but then columbine columbine was terrible like you know like you know i forget how many people died in that but it was you know scores of kids like that Mm. and then now we're at this thing where like in that thing in in, i won't say the word but you know uh uh uh, in nevada the big city in vegas yeah yeah in that city also it is pronounced nevada just that guy killed is it really (laughs) it's fine that's that's a very common mispronunciation uh (laughs) then that guy killed everybody and it's as we forget about it i know I now we're having a 9-11 every day. So this is Trevor with the hot takes. I know. That's just, I'm not trying to have a hot take here. This isn't a hot take. I know. I'm just But saying, it is noteworthy. It's, crazy. it's not a yeah. hot take, but it is noteworthy. It's like it is profound how many people die from this every day. And we've just stopped giving yeah. a shit. We do not care about each other. Yeah. I heard that's- Zach is wrong about that pronunciation. I don't think so, dude. It's not Nevada. It is Nevada. I know this for a fact. Um... Because my character on Rekt said it, and everyone came up and was like, Zach, you got to say it. It's Nevada. you got to do it right. So I, I remember it. Um, fucking... My parents are, go- are going to a wedding tomorrow. Who is? My parents. What the fuck? I know. What the fuck? So I'm, just, I'm talking to them tonight. I'm like, what are you doing? Where are you going to a wedding? Is it what like a social distance wedding? Is yeah, but be wearing... still. But still. What kind, of, what kind of asshole throws a wedding yeah, seriously. in the middle of this? Like, shame on them. Like, I mean, look, know. if it's like, it's a backyard wedding, you're having 10 guests, no one's going in the house, it's like very social distance, I could, I could see it. I don't know. I doubt no. that's what it is. I don't, I, I, if you're throwing a wedding in this, it, 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 we have all these people yeah. dying, you know, and, and you're inviting elderly people, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I hope you divorce. I agree. I agree. A box on your marriage. Uh, Tazu for you donated 50 bucks he says one for the boss you killed today thank you sir two for the shirt with Sam's face that says he wants a shirt with Sam's face that says simp incel virgin hey man you gotta make the shirt I don't think we can and then second to Sally donated a dollar she says dude simp and incel are 4chan terms and that's why they're banning them it's it's for the best to put a stop to their alt-right bullshit I loathe alt-right. I'm not a big 4chan guy. I don't think I've been on 4chan in over a decade. So I, I don't know. But I also don't want to talk shit on them on the internet because I don't want to get doxxed. Also, like, I don't know. You're never going to get me on the side of banning words. It's just yeah. it's stupid. It's stupid. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I do agree. Because it's, it's all about the intention, and the intention will always be there. It's Manic Expressive banning. donated. Thanks, buddy. It's oh, he says, this is for introducing me to the metamorphosis of prime intellect. What a fucking ride. Wish I could donate more. A lot of people have been writing me in Collective Souls talking about reading that book and how they like it. We got to get the rights to that. We do. Yeah. We probably shouldn't just be talking about that on the internet, how we want to buy it. But yeah. Yeah. No one else is going to buy the rights to that book. Somebody goes, this fucking show again? Oh, well. I like, fuck I like, the, idea, I like the idea that somebody's browser is broken. <laughs> yeah. And like they have, it got stuck on our Twitch thing. And so they're like, well, Timmy makes food. That one's okay. I like that. Like, yeah. you know, Sam does his flight thing. I like that. But then they get to ours and they're like, ow. Oh. Yeah. Um, the, uh, oh my God, the Mandalorian. Oh, dude. And today people are like, what do you think the odds are that Trevor will bring up the Mandalorian tonight? And I said 80%. Oh, 100. It was the season finale. Oh. I stayed up till actually like, I did, I couldn't sleep, so I woke up at 3 in the morning and I watched it. And uh, oh my god. 
It was it was fantastic. I, I won't spoil it. Okay, do you like this season two of The Mandalorian more than season three of Narcos? Very different. Oh. Very different. Um, Narcos is probably my favorite show ever made. Do you like Narcos more than Breaking Bad? Yes. Really? Yeah. That's yes. crazy to me. Um, uh, but this is just everything I've wanted since I was a child, just like served up, uh, and every week, you know, and then, and it gets better and better and better. And then the, what they did last night was literally what an entire generation of young dorks have been dreaming about for 40 years. So it was that. just a big princess Leia. Whole... Totally. You, you see full bush. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly where I was going. Um, amazing. Amazing. Exactly. Chat. Leia got naked. Uh, that's so funny. Uh, so um, wait, but isn't, isn't the Mandalorian like every episode is a standalone? No, there's an overarching story. Okay, so you do have to watch. I do have to watch season one before season two. So I think you could probably just pick up season two, um, like because they you'd, you'd figure it out. There's, I mean, yeah, that you could figure out season one. Season one was really taking its time. Mm -hmm. Season two is where the story really like kicks in. Yeah, kind of. Like, um, uh, tell me this: Do you feel like movies are kind of just over? It's, yeah. like, it's like a great American art form that has like been dying a very slow death. And I feel like maybe we're at the point where it's like people don't give a shit about movies anymore. Well, here's the thing. You know, there will always be movie theaters. It's like, you know, we evolve and we go, and we surpass things. And it's like, you know, the idea of everybody getting into a, a big room and watching a movie like, you know, our TVs are big now. You know, it, it yeah. doesn't have the same magic as it did when we were watching these little square things, you know, and um and it's like, and now it's like they've stopped. The, movies are too expensive to make now that, that no one can make original ones. Like, so it's all just reboots of IP. I know. I mean, this is the reason sucks. we're, this is the reason, you know, like, um, you know, it, so it's like it, 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 everything has become a little less special. Well, also, maybe I'm just getting old and, and the magic's not there anymore. But like, I, I just, for me, like, it's one of the things I miss the least about the old world is uh, movies. I really you miss know? it. I, you know, and I'd kind of sworn off movie theaters. I was like, I, I, I'm so sensitive to people chewing and talking and their phones and people misbehaving drives me fucking crazy in a movie theater. And I was like, I'm done, dude. I don't need this anymore. I got a big projector in my house. I can pause it. I can go to the bathroom. It costs less money. I was all out. But like... It's been nine months without the option, and I would mm -hmm. I would pay the sixty bucks that it costs to go to a bad movie like so happily right. now. I just miss the theater. It's like I don't know, man. It, that's funny. Like uh, you know, someone says, "Yet you're making a movie." Look, I'm not saying that people aren't going to make ninety minute you know videos anymore. I'm just saying it, we're not going to put our movie out in a theater, you know, unless somebody you know buys it and wants to put it in a the theater. Or something the like odds that. of Mars coming out in a theater is yeah. zero. It's not. Gonna it'll happen. it'll go to a streaming platform. It'll do something. It will do something like that with it. Um, and that's fine. Like I like I don't think so. The the this Mandalorian show is incredibly cinematic. It looks exactly like a film. Like it it does not look like TV effects at all. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I'm missing anything by not seeing it on a big screen. I, I, I it's fine. I'm, yeah. I'm in very much enjoying it. But there's something like, about that communal experience. And somebody's like, "You guys already talked about missing movie theaters." I know, but whatever. Wait. There's just something about that like energy. You know what I mean? That like you're all yeah. kind of hostage to this thing. And there's also something important about like driving to the theater and like waiting and buying the ticket and getting in line and being quiet. You know, like. You're giving over to it, you know? You're watching right. it on its terms. And I feel like that's such a cool thing. It's like an investment. But I, like, I also like being on Instagram when I watch movies. Oh, God. That's the other thing, though. And I'm the same way. Like, I have my iPad in my lap, most movies mm -hmm. I watch, and I'm yep. doing a fucking Candy Crush, or I'm surfing the web, or I'm doing something stupid. That sucks. I'm like, if, I'm dulling movie, the movie. If I'm watching a movie, I'm like, uh, oh, bullshit, this didn't happen. I look it up on Wikipedia. And I'm like, it did happen. Holy shit. Like, you know, if it's a movie about a real thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think, uh, but they'll always be, it's like, they still have plays. People still go, they pay like 200 bucks to go see a play. You know, no one gives a shit about Dude, plays anymore. When was the last it, time you went to see a play? I don't know. Have I, you ever I, seen I, one in LA? Fuck no. Terrible.
I only go when I get guilted into going in like New York where oh. they're like, it's Broadway and you go and you're like, still sucks. And, no, in New uh, York, I feel like I see, I see mostly good plays. In LA, it's just, it's a shit show. It's bad. Uh, I don't know. I just, so, but, but I'm saying like plays, people go to see plays and that, that used to be everything. Like everybody would go see yeah. plays all the time. That was, so I think movies are just going to be that. They'll, you'll still have, you know, Apple will have a big movie theater in your town. Disney will have a big movie theater in your mm-hmm. town. HBO, you know, and, and you go see that stuff. Yeah, that's sad. But we'll, we'll all be doing virtual reality stuff. Yeah. For me, it's smoking in a movie theater. What does that mean? For me, it's smoking in a, nobody smokes in theaters. You're sad that you can't? Huh? Well, maybe they'll let you smoke again. That's what they should do to get people back. Be like you can uh, rip butts in here, yeah. you know, and then do bong but, rips. Every every seat should just have a gravity gravity bong in between every single one. You can just fucking go for it. Awesome. Um, someone says I fucking miss prostitutes. You can still get prostitutes, right? I can't imagine prostitutes are like, sorry, I'm not going to work. I'm not going to. It's not safe. I don't know. These these people risk having their throats slit. <laughs> the uh god it would be a scary time to go to a prostitute now yeah 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 because not only do you have the the original diseases that you're worried about but then there's this whole new one yeah dude yeah um how uh so you started vaccining they started vaccining i hear there's been some side effects i and mike pence i saw your 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 tweet was good with the the whole mike pence moment yeah um i thought that was a good move for him I think yeah. Trump should do it. Well, they say Trump's not going to do it because he already has the antibodies. And so they want to like... Oh, is that uh, right? Yeah, because he already had it. So they're like, well, he doesn't need it. So any anybody who has already had it, they should be the back, the back of the line to get it. Oh, okay. All we, right. We fair. Were. Cool. All right. Um, so, yeah, that was good that Pence did it. Um, he also named... This is a news story. He named Space Force today. You know the Space Force? Yeah. Wait, Trump so he, named it? No, Pence announced it. Oh, what did he say? So the people, did he give it a not, cool name? No, <laughs> he, they're called guardians. So it's not like Air Force people are like astronauts. These are guardians. The people who work for the Space Force are called guardians. Like it's fucking Guardians of the Galaxy. Like he just saw a movie and was like, "Oh, that's what we'll do." Good um, Lord, this is what happens when you have fucking evangelicals <laughs> naming shit. Guardians, the the Gideons. We we don't want it to be Gideons. It's too religious. The Guardians. We're not that smart of a country, though. I think it. I think it's fitting. It could be. It could be worse. It could be worse. Wait, when Reagan called it Star Wars, that was after the movies had come out, right? Yeah, we did a sketch about it. Did people? I know. Did people freak out when that happened? Yeah, people were like, "So the actor president is naming our thing after a movie? Like that's what our whole sketch is about? Was how obsessed <laughs> yeah. with the movie?" Like, was, I forgot all about that sketch. Yeah. Uh, Principal Rolls, thanks for the fifty, buddy. Appreciate that. Never stop whooping. Donated says one of my favorite memories as a teenager was smoking fatties and seeing Django in a theater with a friend, and then being so hyped that I saw it again the next day with more friends and more fatties. All right. Nice. <laughs> that guy seems but, real cool, man. But okay, so that's that's a good point though. Sixteen-year-olds need movies. It's true. You know, because you get you get you don't have a house that you can hang out in by yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, you you live with your parents. That sucks. So as soon as you get your car, you just hang out at the movies all the time. You know what movie theater experience was the most deeply affecting? And by the way, I, I ordered dinner an hour and a half before this started, and it showed up right as we began. So I, I have to eat, and I hate doing it on stream, but otherwise I'm gonna. That's die. fine. Um, just like do like some ASMR. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. eat really close to the mic. Um. Well, I don't think I'm gonna answer his question while he's gone. That doesn't make any sense. So, how are you guys doing? How is the chat? Oh, he's back, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was real fast. I'm not going to go have dinner in there, but I, I like sit down across from Sarah. I'm like, how was your day? Blah, 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 blah. I thought you were going to have to go outside. No, no, no. Um, so, uh, what did you get? What did you order? Sush, baby. Mm. I got some sugar fish. I, uh, was it you I was talking with? I was like, the Japanese food should have burritos. Wait, Japanese what? Food should have burritos. Yeah, it's called hand rolls. Well, no, someone said that's what sushi is. And I was like, oh, you're right. 
I mean, sushi is sort of a burrito, but do you ever go down to uh, Kazunori downtown? No, I don't go anywhere. See, here's the thing about Trevor that people probably don't know. Trevor, his least favorite thing in the world is going to restaurants. Yes. Going to a restaurant. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. I have a hard rule. Uh, 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 and so, like, which is great because my wife has just accepted it at this point. Because um, I had the rule before we ever even started dating where uh, if someone asks us to dinner, she'll be, well, how many people are coming? And if it's more than four, she's like, well, I'll go, but Trevor's not going to come. You know. More than four in addition to you? Yes. I you know what? I think that's a perfect rule, honestly. I love that rule. Yeah. It's fantastic. Like, and, and so it's just a hard rule. Like, it's like, ah, maybe next time if you're inviting less people, he'll go. Like, you know, mm-hmm. kind of thing. That's a good, um, that's good. Yeah. I hate when it's not one conversation. When you go out to yep. dinner... And everyone's having their own thing. It drives me nuts. Yeah, I, 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 it's worse. It's it's one of the worst things in the world. I, I can't stand it. Um, but I will say, as much as I hate um, restaurants, that is one thing I've missed more than movies uh, in this whole Corona thing. Is um, yeah, I think it's just because I'm getting bored of the places I order delivery from, you know. But I, I like I liked having the option of. No, I don't want to go there with other people, but I liked going by myself mm-hmm. to eating at places like how often do you guys cook never never for dinner no, no. never you guys postmates every day yeah yeah do you um no no we we cook well sarah cooks i i, I don't she cooks but um we postmate a lot we postmate a lot and we do this i think it's called like crowd cow what the fuck is it called something where we order from like a a butcher thing so every two weeks we get like a big box with like dry ice in it with like a shit ton of meat that like so we don't really go to the store so much but we get like our food mm. delivered from a farm i um uh, i used to do the uh blue apron mm-hmm. so i do the blue apron thing and then uh i just i i just it, it, it was just like an uh, uh 45 minutes out of my night that I wanted back. Yeah. You know? it's, it's a big time suck. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fun. It's like Sarah and I did that for a while. And it, it was just kind of a fun way to hang out. Because we're such couch potatoes. Like most of the time we're like veggie. Mm-hmm. You know. Or like watching TV. Or like I'm playing video games and she's playing video games or whatever. So it's nice to have like. It was a good activity for us to like do shit. <laughs> now that we don't have yeah. uh, Blue Apron we just don't talk. That's fine. If you can be happy not talking you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I like uh, watching TikTok on the couch. That's my. That's my. Uh, like, do you uh, and activity. Amy? How often do you guys sit down as a family and have dinner? I guess when you have a kid, it's totally different. When you have mm-hmm. like a kid, it's like, yeah, we're gonna sit down at the dinner table and talk. But like, I remember I went over to Chelsea and Jordan's with Sarah, and they were like, we're gonna have dinner with them, and I thought we we're gonna like eat dinner on the couch. We we're gonna watch a movie. No, mm-hmm. like, no, we're gonna we're gonna eat dinner at the dinner table, and I was like, okay. And then I was I like, do like you guys it. do this? Do you guys do this like a lot, or is it just a company thing? Like we do this every night. It's like every night, and this is before they had a kid. Like every no, night, I, you guys sit at the dinner table, just the two of you. I don't like, like yeah. that. They thought we were freaks. No, it's them. Because that's it? like, yeah. I mean, maybe like maybe if you were like from that generation, <laughs> you know, where they all did that, but like that's not the way that any of us grew up you know like i mean i had dinner with my family at the table six nights a week seven nights a week probably holy shit yeah but there were there were four boys there were four children and mom i mean so it was like dinner's ready you know we weren't allowed to go eat it on the couch we'd make a mess it would be a whole thing it was like we're gonna eat at the table right you didn't do that well no we would on sundays once a week what would you do on a tuesday uh, we'd be watch. I'd watch TV and we'd eat, well, we'd eat at a counter, but we were just watching TV and eating. Like, Dude, um, I would have killed for that as a kid. Yeah, it was great. And actually, most of the time we ate out at like a, like a Taco Bell or something because uh, uh, my parents would work in town and we lived like a half hour away from school. So by the time we were done with all like sports and stuff like that, we were just like, let's hit Taco Bell on the way home. We'll eat it in the car on the way home. It's great. It's wonderful. <laughs> I know for kids they love it. I guess yeah. for grown-ups, it's like, fuck it. I don't have to, like, cook and clean. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a no. win-win. It's just not very... Not good. I mean, I feel like... 
you know, I single single home. I mean, single single parent home. My mom, we had fast food or ordered pizza or Chinese food like most nights of the week. It yeah. was pretty bad. It instilled really bad food habits for me that took me like all of my twenties and half my thirties to break. Dude, I Postmates Taco Bell at least once a week now. Taco Bell? I love it. I haven't eaten Taco Bell since high school. I love it. It's the greatest. Wow. I What's, took my... I, that's your prom, favorite fast food restaurant, obviously. Yeah, on prom night, I took my date to Taco Bell, and she gave me shit about it. And I was like, what are you talking about? This place is great. And I didn't like... <laughs> I, I, I honestly didn't realize it till all my friends were giving me a hard time afterwards. I was like... She's being a bitch about going to Taco Bell. And they're like, you went to Taco Bell before the prom? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you fucking idiot. Like, What what was like the fancy restaurant in Charlottesville that, that kids could go to? You couldn't go to like a real fancy restaurant. I don't know. I was going to Taco Bell. I mean, I, I never I never went to. Yeah. So wait, is, so Taco Bell's your favorite fast food then? Obviously. No, Arby's. Arby's? Yeah, I like Arby's. I don't think I've ever had it in my life. It's so good. Um... Yeah, Arby's, and then and then I'll, I'll fuck with a McDonald's. McDonald's Me too, dude. I great. love McDonald's. Yeah, sometimes when I feel real gross, uh, I'm just like, I'm just gonna order a bunch of McDonald's, and then I'm gonna like uh, go immediately to sleep after I eat it all. Like I love that. There's nothing better than just eating a whole bunch of fucking fast food and then going straight to bed. You know, and then you, it's just great. All right, this is a fucked up thing I'm gonna admit here. Um. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for it, but whatever. When I was when I was a drinking man, I would it was not abnormal on a weekend for me to get I'd go to a bar, I'd Uber to a bar because I knew it was gonna get smashed. So right. I'd Uber to a bar, get fucking obliterated, Uber mm-hmm. home, and then get in my car and drive drunk to the McDonald's and go through the drive thru. And I would do that like regularly. That was Why not just go with the Uber? Because I didn't think about it till I got home. I was like, I want fucking Mookie oh. D's. That is oh. dark. Yeah, wow, Zach, indeed. I yeah, haven't. That's a, I haven't drank in years, people. I'm. I'm. I don't do that anymore. That's but I will say, that's how fucking good McDonald's is. <laughs> Dude, that they should, should just com- have cops breathalyzing everyone at the drive-through at these restaurants at two in the morning because everyone <laughs> there is fucked up. They're, they're all fucked up people. Yeah. Yeah. That, these are wow, Zachs I, that I deserve. I'll, I'll take every one of these wow, Zachs. I'm not proud of this. My big thing is, uh, and I, I'd go crazy the other way, which I've never. Like my whole thing is, if I've had one beer, I won't drive. Mm. I, that's I, I just make I make rules about myself, and I was like, because that way I won't get in trouble, I won't lose my license or shit like that. I, I just knew a bunch of kids that lost their license when they were, you know, we were when we were teenagers, and um, so I uh, so but what I ended up always doing was I'd be smashed, and then I'd like get a yellow cab before Uber, and then I would have the yellow cab guy just take me a half mile. To like a McDonald's, I order a bunch of food. Always end up ordering him. I'm like, "What do you want, man?" <laughs> like, you know, and <laughs> yeah. I'm like giving him shit, and then I'm like, oh, "This is great." So then, like, you wake up the next day, and you're just like, "I spent like forty bucks total, like, on just oh fast food," God. and then like, you know, yeah, that's amazing. Oh wow, I'm still getting it. I'm still getting it. Whoa, flowers! Thanks for fucking gifting. Holy shit, twenty five subs. Thank you so much. My God. Hold on and hang on. Donated 25 bucks. He says, for boss battles. Thanks for being my weekend soundtrack. We're ordering Shake Shack tomorrow. What should I get? Shake Shack is good. Shake Shack is good. I don't know. Just get just get two cheeseburgers, man. My only beef with Shake Shack is that sometimes they put too much mayo on. I've noticed that. Oh, really? Yeah, they love the mayo over there. Um, I got a fucking parking ticket and all this COVID shit. Yeah, what are they going to not ticket cars anymore? Yeah, because they're telling everyone to stay home. I mean... What, am I supposed to be going out, risking COVID to, like, move my car around? Where'd you get it? Right risking my COVID house. to move my car around? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> that logic does not hold up, dude. I don't know. So I shouldn't try to fight it? <laughs> no. Yeah, Where, I, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Yeah, two streets away. I left my car there for two weeks, though. Oh. And... And, um, yeah. And so then once I, now that I had the ticket though, I'm just going to leave it there for another two weeks because they're not going to give me two tickets. <laughs> yeah. You already got, you already paid for it, right? Yeah. Well, they'll they, see well, they could there. impound your car, I guess. Right. I don't know. 
Um, but doesn't that seem stupid that the city, because our city has literally been like, everyone don't go outside, stay oh, yeah. home, you know? And then they're like, but we're going to give you tickets for staying inside. Oh, so I see. So it was, you got a ticket because it was in a street cleaning. Yeah. I thought you parked illegally. No. Okay. Uh, understood. Understood. Yeah. Oh, I did mean, I, uh, that was the disconnect. I thought you were like, I thought you parked in like a red zone or something like that. No. Okay. Can, can I show you this thing? Oh yeah. Everybody get a, get, get a load of this. This, this is amazing. <laughs> this is how I walk around now. I look like a fucking insane person. <laughs> yeah. You walk around like this. Oh my God. You gotta turn the fan on first because it's air conditioned. <laughs> Is it really tight? Yeah, so it goes tight. I can't hear you because my headphones are over here. Fucking insane right now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> you're a yeah, guardian, I dude. Thing like this. <laughs> Trevor, you're a guardian. I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I feel so safe. I went to the grocery store today and everyone's looking at me and shit. But I'm just kind of like, I'm, I, I got out of there. I did my spray on my hands and I was like, I'm fine. I didn't catch shit. <laughs> That's badass. Yeah. So what happens if it runs out of power? Does it start to fog up and then you can die of your own carbon monoxide? Sorry, what'd you say? What happens if it runs out of battery life? Do you, do, does it fog up and then you die from breathing your own carbon dioxide? No, you just, you just recharge it. <laughs> yeah, it's but what if you can't? It, it's got a six hour battery on it. Six hours. Yeah, and then you charge it at night. And um, Does the fan make noise? A little bit, but it's nice. It's actually very comfortable because it's like if it, it's constantly having like a light breeze in your face. And you know, you can put Bluetooth headphones in, so you can answer the phone and do all that yeah. shit and listen to music. And you, and you can see there's like heavy duty like HEPA filters in there, so it's like really filtering out everything that. The, Where'd you get that thing? I ordered it. It was like a Kickstarter type deal. It was like I, I ordered it months ago. As soon as this virus, I was like, well, this isn't going anywhere. I saw this. My friend, my friend Kyle, you know Kyle. He um, he texted me a, a picture of the mock-up of it, and he was like, "Can you imagine like how dumb people are gonna look if they wore this?" And I was like, "I I, I took this a completely different way because I, <laughs> I, I want I want that so badly, and I like ordered it like." Oh my god! Does he know? Yeah, he was laughing. As soon as I got it, I sent him a picture, and he was like, "You idiot!" Oh my god, dude! That's amazing. You should make oh. the donos bigger so we can read them. Okay. My B. Uh, I've been saying my B a lot, and I don't like that I do that. My B? My B, my B. There you go. Donos are bigger. Hopefully you can read them. Uh, but I will read them now. <clears throat> Canterlope donated. He says, would you rather fight 10 Timmy-sized ducks or one duck-sized Timmy? 10 Timmy-sized... No. No. One. Wait, What? Like a short. I'd rather fight one duck sized Timmy. I'd, I'd annihilate him. Yeah. That's a yeah. crazy question. Def yeah. Jam donated 20 bucks. Thanks, dude. He said, here's some bucks for Trevor Moore Guardian. Oh, Kyle just texted me. He did? Is he watching? I guess so. What up, Kyle? Yeah. Um, hey, Kyle. <laughs> Twerkin donated five bucks, says, Trevor's officially my favorite Power Ranger. <laughs> and twerking donated again says ordering a newsboys meal comes with a free admission of guilt from zach yeah and a hot take from trevor as surprised as a hot take uh kyle said uh everybody in the chat says hi to kyle hi kyle um yeah what else happened everyone's getting sick um you, when was the last time you did a game night at kyle's house oh not that kyle oh you're kyle from texas yeah 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 kyle oh, from cool. texas yeah yeah um, yeah, different Kyle. Hey, Kyle. What's up, dude? I was saying hi to the wrong Kyle. Oh, no. This is Texas Kyle. I like Texas Kyle. Yeah. Um, the, uh, yeah, so everyone's getting sick. What else happened? There was other big things that happened, right? Um, <clears throat> oh, Tom Cruise, dude. Let's talk about this. 
Tom Cruise. I mean, what's your take? I, 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 have, I have a take. What's yours? Love it. Love it. Total support. Total support. You know what? I, you know what? I, I, I think I like Tom Cruise a lot. <laughs> what about the whole Scientology thing? All, all good? Dude, if I could be at his level in Scientology, I would fucking do it. Come on. Fuck, fuck all the people who get hurt. Eh. No, I guess I wouldn't. Yeah. If you think about it deeper, you got you to gotta be. Yeah, deeper. I like not thinking about the people who get hurt and just thinking about how cool it would be to be like the in charge of some yeah. like weird religion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Well, you know what? I would be like Tom. I would be Tom Cruise. I'd be like, hey, let's stop. Like, uh, being mean to everybody. You know what? Like, uh, David Miscavige or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. you should let your wife out of that fucking basement. You know, like, mm-hmm. you know, you should do all these. Like, I, I would try to uh, make it better. I would reform it. Yeah, well, he could. He could do that. Yeah. But I love his movies. I think they're great. He never misses. Um, well, he and- must have missed. Some of the Mission Impossibles I'm not into. But you like the Mission Impossible. Oh, he missed with The Mummy. That was a big miss. I didn't see that. Yeah, it was brutal. But he rarely misses, though. He's got a great track record. Doesn't miss. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't have our track record, but he no. but rarely that, That's not fair to, to expect that of anyone. No, and, and by the way, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Um, Does Brad Pitt have a good track record in your mind? Yeah, he has a good track record. Um, I haven't seen a lot of his movies. Really? Because, uh, yeah, he does a lot of movies that I just don't think are interesting to me. Like, um, you know, but uh, the ones I see of his, I like them. A lot. Yeah, I'm into him. Because he'll every now and then he'll do a movie that's like seems like a quiet like I want an Oscar movie, you know. And you're like, eh, Tom eh. Cruise gave up on that a long time ago. Yeah, fuck the Oscars. He doesn't yeah. care. I, I actually think it's kind of rad. He's like, I want big, global action movies. That's my thing. Yeah, I want to run fast. I want to <laughs> like. I want you to make me look tall. And <laughs> I want to stand like, on an apple box and make yeah. out with with pretty people. That's it. That's what, and, and they're all great. Yeah, really good. Um, Wait, what was your what was your opinion of Eyes Wide Shut? I love it. You love it. I, you know, what? I yeah. remember. So, I as a young man, I remember watching it and being like, "I love this movie. I love this movie. I'm I'm into mm-hmm. it." And then I watched it with Sarah like a month ago, mm-hmm. and she did not like it. Really? And I, and watching it with her, I was like, "Yeah, it's kind of hard to defend this movie. It's like real slow. The acting is." Super crazy. Nicole Kidman is like bonko bananas in that movie, and then like the climax is like super disappointing, and it's just like I don't I don't know what the fuck I was so captivated with this. Well, it's supposed to be like a dream. It's very dreamlike in, yeah. in the way that everything is slow, everything is odd. Like ev- nothing is nothing is realistic. And and the you know? same Christmas tree decorated the same way as in like every interior space and the, like the, the red felt of the pool table matches yeah. like you know like there's a lot of thought that went into it and I love that yeah but it and, uh, I don't know what's crazy about it uh, is that it was just like a, sh- a collection of short it was like a short story it was like a sex romp you know yeah it was, it was based like- on, a, on, a, on a Jewish novel about about a guy that's I think an Israeli. I could be wrong. I read. I read this this book last month, like a Jewish perspective on Kubrick movies. Uh-huh. And um, anyway, he'd been working. He'd been trying to make that movie forever. All of his movies, he tried to make for like thirty years. But um, but it was yeah. about. It was like an erotic thing about a marriage, and it, Stanley Kubrick changed the ending. I'm I'm bailing on this. I'm going to butcher well, this and get it wrong. Well, that's what I like about Kubrick. Um, is that he would take like uh, uh, what was it? Um, what was uh, uh, Doctor Strangelove? Mm-hmm. Doctor Strangelove was like a cautionary tale, right? And then he was like, "This is a comedy, right?" And then so he made and like this was like just some sort of sex farce, and he was like, "Well, actually, I'm going to talk about how the world really works." Yeah. You know, it, it, but, but I'm going to allude to it and put all this little symbolism in here and like kind of and then um, and, and like uh, what was the other one that he uh, he just did that with a bunch of movies, which was which was awesome. Or like uh, The Shining. Like, I don't really like um, what's his name? Truck guy. Guy got hit by a truck. Stephen King. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't really like Stephen King that much. Um, uh, but on the other hand, I've never read one of his books. So that doesn't you never sense. read a Stephen King book. No, I don't like him. You should um, read Misery. I don't like them. All right, fair enough. But um, <laughs> but like, 
So they, they make Shining, Kubrick makes Shining, because so, so uh, Stephen King, he makes this book called The Shining, and it's all about alcoholism. And right. then, uh, and then uh, Kubrick goes like, mm, actually it's about Marriage. insanity. Yeah, yeah. So he like he changes it, and then Kubrick, and then uh, King just bitches about it for like all these years. He's like, it wasn't good. It wasn't oh, good. Yeah. Like, and then so then there's like three versions where Stephen King was like, this is how it was supposed to be, and they fucking suck. Someone said King books don't translate to movies. Yeah, because they suck. Mm, no, some do, some don't. Some don't. Misery is a great book. It's also a great movie though. That that one did translate. Yeah, if your if your book doesn't translate into a movie, it's a bad book. Shawshank was was good. Became a good movie. Um, Lord of the Rings sucks. No, dude, the movies suck. The books are great. The books are great. We've talked about this already. Trevor loves old people. Donated five bucks. He says, "Have you ever seen Robert Downey Jr. wears platform shoes? At, at least Tom Cruise doesn't do that." Will you pull that up? Yeah, he does. It's funny. I've never seen this. Uh. U U I L U L G U G. I can't read some of these names, guys. If Darren asks nicely, would you consider letting Sam be a newsboy? I don't want him to be. I'm just wondering because the moral dilemma. Because Darren is a sweetheart, I would have no problem telling Darren no. Um, Darren would never make an issue of that. Yeah, and Darren wouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, Will Guglielmo donated. He says, "Suck it, Tyler." Uh, Canderlope donated and says, "My best friend said the Doctor Sleep book was basically supernatural Home Alone." Yeah, that sounds about right. Kind of. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, here, look at this. Look at his shoes. Why are all uh, celebrities really uh, like uh, shrimpy guys? Like, I don't know. Are, Even Brad Pitt's very thing. small. It's, yeah, it's, they're all it's tiny. something about the human body looks better when it's condensed. That's got to be the reason. Maybe it makes their heads look big because most celebrities have big, giant heads. Yeah. Zach, what's wrong with the Lord of the Rings movies? I, I don't have a beef with the, with the, with the movies. They're, they're fine. I, I hated the Hobbit movies, but I know that's different than the books the, or the book. I, I know. Oh, I can't share videos. I can't share pictures anymore. Why? I don't know. My Zoom's gotten weird. I got a new computer and it's never been. I, 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 you I know what? I, I think I can show <clears throat> chat, but I can't show you. Hmm. Just look up Robert Downey Jr. platforms. Platform shoes. Here you go. Someone said, stop manlet shaming. I'm not manlet shaming. I'm just wondering why. Um, <laughs> what what, is, what is a manlet, by the way? It's, it's, a, it's a tiny man, like a, like a piglet man. I guess these are. Yeah. Okay, so, so is he really small? Hang on, let me pull this in here. I guess he's really, really small. Oh, shit. Hang on. I can't, I can't do it, guys. It's not going to happen. Oh, well. Bummer. Huh. Robert Downey Jr., though, goddamn, that guy is fucking charismatic as hell. Who's more charismatic than him? He's charismatic. Um, the, uh, I think people are upset I said piglet man. I, again, I'm not manlet shaming. I'm not, you can be whatever, whatever height you want to be, it's fine. <clears throat> Tazu for you, donated 10 bucks, says the Lord of the Rings movies suck so hard, goddamn, they suck. All right. That's true. So you hate the Lord of the Rings movies? I hate them. I hate them so much. I hate them. They're long. I hate hobbits. I hate orcs. I hate um, I hate elves. I don't like any of that shit. Like you know, um, I was so bummed. Did I ever talk? Have I ever talked to you about this when uh, the Game of Thrones show was coming out? No, I don't know if you talked to me about it. What? So it was like, I saw bus ads for Game of Thrones. And I don't know why, uh, but the, the original, at the beginning, when it started out, it was like, a, it was Sean Bean sitting on a big chair of knives, mm -hmm. you know, and it was like Game of Thrones. And for some reason, I got it in my head that this was about um, like the, uh, you know, when the Vikings settled, you know, Russia. You know, because the Vikings were attacking everybody, and then they basically uh, they they got to like Saint Petersburg, and they're like, okay, let's just make a let's make a permanent city here, and that's basically like the beginnings of, of Russia. Is that true? I didn't know that. Yeah. So, I was like, oh great, like you know, no one's I've, no, I've never seen a movie about this, I've never seen a TV show about this. I really like, I'm excited about this. I was excited for this Game of Thrones show, and then I watched the pilot, and then it's the fucking snow zombies, right? 
And then so at that point, I was like, oh, it's fucking bullshit. This is a bullshit show. This isn't real. This isn't like a true <laughs> thing. And then it just got worse and worse as I watched it. There's like, you know, dragons and like, you know, uh -huh. and, and, it, and it just bummed me the fuck out because I hate all that shit. But then when did you come around? Because you ended up liking it. Not really. I, um, uh, Everybody, every, all my friends watched it every, and they would all come over to either my house, to, my wife would watch it or uh -huh. like going over to someone else. So we'd always, I, I ended up watching all of it. And by the end, you get invested in yeah. it. Yeah. But, uh, but I thought it was weird that everybody was like the dragon lady when they were like, uh, cause I thought she was a fucking asshole from day one, from the jump. Like, I was like, this is the villain, you know? And then at the end, when, the, when she went villain, everyone's like, how would we have seen this? And you're like, she's a psychopath. <laughs> like, she's going into these towns, like freeing everybody, but then enslaving them again and being like, yeah, come fight for me. She's an insane person. She's yeah, like, that's a good point. She freed all these slaves just to kind of bend them to her will to make but, them die for her. And then yeah. she'd give these like bullshit speeches that are just like, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Trevor's contractually obligated to say this because Disney hasn't been able to buy Lord of the Rings IP. Oh, we'll get it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone said, yeah, you hate stuff that's not, or what was it? They were basically saying like, you say you don't like stuff that's not real, but why do you like Mandalorian? Ah, uh, good point, good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Mandalorian's just really well made. Do you like Iron Man? I, the first one I thought was amazing. I loved that's, it. We saw it together what, in the theater. Right. That's what this feels like because it's John Favreau, uh -huh. you know, killing it. Cool. You know, well, that makes me want to watch it. Yeah. I loved it. I remember I, I didn't think I was going to like it and I loved it. And I don't think Marvel has made another movie I've enjoyed since no. then. Yeah, that was it. I mean, that, but that movie felt so, like at that end when he's like, uh, when he's like, because uh, in, in all these superhero movies that you'd watched up to that point, they're all like, oh, don't let anyone know I'm Batman. Like, you know, it was like, it, it, no one, everyone's keeping it secret. And then at the end when he's like, I am the guy, I uh -huh. am Iron Man, like that. I, that was like, and that was the end. I was like, that's rad, like, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, Zach, I've been dying. Oh, where do you get your ideas from? Good Lord. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas was supposed to be Iron Man, but he did I'll Be Home for Christmas instead. I, I, don't, I don't believe he did. I don't believe you. What happened to him? Um, Jonathan Taylor Thomas? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I hope he's okay. It's funny because uh, I was scrolling through some movies today, and one of the movies that came up was like a JTT movie with like him and Devin Sawa. Somebody in chat knows it. It was like called like The Wild Outdoors or some shit, some nature movie with JTT. Mm. It was like the last movie he did. What the fuck is it called? He retired from acting? Oh, all right. Like intentionally? I have no idea. America um, Wild, that might be it. Wild America, that's what it is, I believe. Anyway. Um, it's always fascinating, like those, uh, like also Malcolm in the Middle, he like retired because he didn't want to act anymore. Well, he went to race cars. Yeah, and then he got in a bad a car accident. He did? And he, and he got his brain damaged. And uh, now he doesn't remember being a child star. Shut up. Yeah, supposedly he like doesn't remember Malcolm in the Middle because he like hit himself with a car <laughs> he doesn't remember malcolm in the middle wow that's yeah. crazy so he's, dude. he's like waking up every morning and being like how do i have all this money and they're <laughs> yeah, like seriously <laughs> wow uh what else chat what what happened what did we miss what happened in yeah. the news it's got to be something something had to happen yeah, oh, I think any? it's official. I think the electoral college is like over. It's done. Who won? Uh, by a hair. By a hair. Biden. Biden clinched. Mm. Mm. Uh, tell your funniest drunk story or one of your favorites, Trevor. I'll, I'll turn it over to you. My favorite. One of my your favorite favorites. drunk stories. I mean, that's basically like just tell a story from your twenties. <laughs> I know. I mean, let me ask chat. Have I ever told the story about um, Gabe in the bathroom of doom? Oh, I don't think I know you haven't. Not on Newsboys. I haven't? No. Tell all it. right. Well, so this is. <laughs> uh, all right. So 
when I was 18, I took a summer class at USC here in Los Angeles. And, um, you know, you would basically make movies and, you know, you, you had to make a movie every week and you would, you know, grade and the teachers would grade them and stuff like that. And it was fun. And so, but it was only for the summer. So uh, when the summer was wrapping up, um, there was uh, a party. It was the, the, the last night of, you know, of, of the semester. And uh, so there was a party outside and USC, where USC was, is in South Central. Um, and in the late nineties, it was uh, pretty not safe. It was, there was like, you know, we had a bullet hole in our window. Like it was, you know, there was, you know, really kind of, you know, sketchy kind of area. And so, uh, there was a party outside of the, the campus that was like two streets down that one of my friends was throwing. And, um, so it was going to be a huge party at this, at this building. And so we were all like, all right, we'll go. So we, uh, we all went to the party and we get in there and it's kind of lame. We're like, uh, you know, everyone's just drinking, everyone's getting drunk and they're watching. There was some Cameron Diaz, um, Ewan McGregor movie, uh, that, uh, a life less ordinary. That's wow. what it was. There was. There's a movie called a life less ordinary or an ordinary that everybody was watching. And I was just like, this is sucks. I don't know what, what this party sucks. Um, but the guy, yeah, that's a bad party. Yeah, but the guy who threw the party, he his roommate was this guy named Gabe, and uh, Gabe was I mean uh, he uh, he was mentally not the same as everyone. Uh huh. Okay, so like I don't know what the correct way to say it, uh, but every word that I can think of, <laughs> uh, you can't say. Uh, but he was. You know, he was mentally. And was it like the kind of thing where if 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 me or somebody in chat were to meet him, we would know instantly, or would it be the kind of thing where you talk to him in about two minutes and you'd be like, okay, all right. I think you know pretty. I, I think you know pretty quick. Uh, okay. I mean, he looked normal, but like he wasn't. Okay. Um, and uh, so um, and so like and his movies. He was he was also in the thing, and his movies would be hilarious because. Um, he showed us this one that he made in high school and it was called Gabe and the bathroom of doom. And his movie that he showed us was like, he walked into a bathroom and uh, he'd be like, all right, got to wash my hands. Time to get out of this bathroom. And then he'd open the door and then he would just cut to him walking back into the bathroom. And he'd be like, what? Another bathroom like that. And then he'd go out again and then he'd do it again. And this movie was 10 minutes long of just him. Like constant, like he thought that tr camera trick was amazing. And like, nobody would be able to figure but out. Would the did. camera be in a different position when he came in the second time or was it a yes. jump cut? No, it'd be a different position kind of thing. Okay. So, but then he'd come in and he'd be like, Oh no, like another bathroom. And, and it was always and the same bathroom. Same bathroom because he's filmed it at his school, like uh -huh. you know, at his high school. And you could, and it was, and you could actually see like sometimes he'd go in the bathroom and kids would come, would be walking out and they'd be making fun of him and he couldn't edit it out. They'd be like, <laughs> Gabe, like you know, like that. And so like, <laughs> so there was all this really funny stuff happening in it. But um, so Gabe was sitting there and he was like, you know, being very quiet and you know, and we're all drinking like that and. Um, and the, so then somebody's like, Gabe, what's wrong? Why aren't you, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, hanging out and stuff? And Gabe was like, well, he's like, this is the last night of me being in Los Angeles. And I just thought I would I would have lost my virginity while I was out here. Oh, my God. Uh, and we're all just like, ah! that's <laughs> like what a crazy thing to say out loud. Like, you know, like, um, I just thought I would have lost my virginity out here. Wow. Yeah. And so some dude uh, just goes like, throws one of those back page kind of, like they used to have all those free newspapers oh, no. that were just prostitutes. Oh, so just bad throw, news. So he just throws it to him and he's like, hey, you know, get a girl out of this, like that. And then so it starts going around the party where people are like, dude, I will put $5 in. Like everybody, <laughs> like people are like, I'll throw into game losing his virginity fund. Like I'll throw five bucks in. So but you know, we end up getting like 50 bucks or something from people. And so, uh, you know, we're like, yeah, 50 bucks, Gabe. Like, and so Gabe starts, you know, calling, you know, uh, uh, girls. And then we are laughing and we go back to watching Life Less Ordinary or whatever. Uh, as, as rowdy college guys do. 
So what order prostitutes and watch Cameron Diaz movies. <laughs> so what we didn't realize was happening was he was calling like these girls and asking them to come over, and they're like, okay. And then like ten minutes would go by, and he'd get impatient that they weren't there, so oh, he'd call no, another dude. one, and he'd call another one, and he'd call another one. So it finally gets to the point where you know the door rings the door the doorbell thing like we, we look down we see the thing and a lot of them he was calling girls that all worked at the same place so he basically ordered like five girls um and so they're like oh you know we're down here and i remember what was funny because we were watching them from the window and each one of them was dressed like a different spice girl because uh -huh. this was 1998 <laughs> like they all had like and she's like i'm baby spice and i'm like this. um so, so he goes down and we're just like, this is insane. This is quickly, <laughs> this is quickly become nuts. Like, and there's this one dude who like, uh, a guy that I live with actually like is trying to hide. Uh, so is Trevor's going to get canceled from the big D for this one? I haven't done anything wrong. From the big D? What's the big Disney. D mean? Disney. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. I haven't done anything wrong in this story so far. Um, but this one dude starts hiding a video camera because he's oh, like, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, that's messed up. He's that's like, not cool. Fuck. Yeah. Anyway, so it's getting rowdy. Um, and uh, and so uh, Gabe goes down and uh, he starts talking to them like, you know, and they're like, you all of us are here uh, like that. And, and, uh, and he's like, I got I got 50 bucks. And they're just like, fuck you. Like, you know, like, uh -huh. you know, 50 bucks like that. And like, you can't get this for 50 bucks. Like, you can't do that. You know, he's like, can I, you know, can I do this for 50 bucks? He's like, no. And then for some reason, Gabe grabs one of them. Oh, no. And he says, can I do this for 50 bucks? And he kisses her. You know. Now, are any it, of their, like, guys here? Or is it just these women? No, it's just these, it's just these five women. Um, and so they, like, slapped him. Sex workers, please. Yes, sex workers. Yeah. yeah. What am I saying? I, I think I said uh, prostitutes, which oh, I, okay. I, yeah. Yeah. So they slap Gabe. We're watching from the window. We're like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's not going well. And uh, so Gabe comes back up. Uh, he's like bummed, you know, and we're like, what the fuck happened? He was like, I just asked if I could kiss one for $50. And we're like, you can't kiss him. No, you didn't uh, ask uh, either. You just did it. Yeah, you just did it. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. You can't kiss a sex worker. Like, you know, um, and we're like, Gabe, you're an idiot. And we go back to watching t uh, the movie and Gabe's just sitting there and he's sad, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> And so then, like, and he's like quiet, and uh, and and then, like, forty five minutes later, we he gets a phone. We get a phone call of the thing, and he picks it up and he goes, "You mean it, really?" And we're like, and he's uh, and it's like, yeah. And he's like, okay, this is. I don't even know the story. This is a trap. So he hangs up and he's like, "It's a slow night." One of them says she'll do it for fifty bucks. They want revenge but, for the kids. And we're like, "This is insane! This is insane!" Like that, everyone's going nuts. Everyone's drinking. We're all like blind drunk at this point. He runs down. There's a van now, um, and so he gets to the gate and she's like, "I know you've got a ton of people up there. Like, you know, I know this is some party. So if we do it for fifty bucks, it's going to be in the van." He goes, "Okay." He opens the gate. Three dudes jump out and just pummel him. They oh. beat the shit out of him, like like on the street. Like, oh. just, holy shit! Are like, you guys watching? Yeah, we're like, what the fuck? Like, it goes. It's like a bomb went off. Everyone's going nuts. Uh, some girl calls the police. Like, you know, she's like, you know, the guy's getting beat up. Like, and all this stuff like that. Um, me and my roommate are kind of like, what the fuck? Like, what do we do? Like, we everyone gets Gabe back up. He's bloody. So you guys went running out there. I didn't, but other people did. Like I stayed <laughs> up in the didn't. room. Yeah, but then they get Gabe up. He's bloody. They sit him down. And uh, is he okay? Is like, he like broken bones, or is he just beat up? No, nothing's broken, but he's like, oh, he's fucked up. <laughs> and um, and we're like, oh, dude, what happened? He's telling us the story. Then cops show up. Sure. Like the police come up because some girl called the cops. Yeah. So then the cops are coming up and we're like, oh shit! Like because we're all eighteen too. Yeah. So we're like, cops are coming. Gabe, whatever you do don't say that you were hiring sex workers. Yeah. You know, it just say that some guys jumped you. And he's like, guys, and I remember this, he goes, he goes, uh, he goes, guys, I made a whole bunch of mistakes tonight already. I don't want to add lying to it. <laughs> oh, you idiot, Gabe! <laughs> and at that moment, I, I, I went, okay. And I went out the window. You and I never saw, window? And I never saw any of them again, except my roommate, because I saw him for the next day. But at that point, I was like, Peace, and I went out the window as the cops were coming up. Like Check, that. please. 
Yes. <laughs> and I never saw Gabe again. I never saw any of those dudes. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't think he was going to get in trouble. I feel like no cop is going to take some kid who just got his ass kicked in for... He didn't do any... He didn't... He didn't yeah. successfully complete the transaction, you know? But at, when you're 18 and you're fucking drunk. Yeah, and you, you don't want to be a part like, of that. I'm not going to be here when the no, cops are. No, yeah. yeah. You know what that makes me think of? I don't think I've told you this. Have I told you, like, so when I went to, uh, before I moved to New York and went to SBA, I, I went to Temple University in Philadelphia for like a, for a year. And uh, the dorms, this was also in a, in a truly horrible neighborhood it was in north philadelphia we had bulletproof glass on our dorm windows i've talked about that before on stream but it was like it was like it's it's in a very very rough spot um and the dorms are these two towers johnson and hardwick and i lived in johnson and i was like on the 12th floor and my my window looked out onto part of the campus so it was like this very heavy foot traffic where like every day it was just like hundreds of students back and forth right below me all the time and i had just gotten uh, a DV camera. This was in like 1998, right? Mm -hmm. So this was like the year that like DV, little those like little yeah. mini DV tapes were like all the rage. And the cool thing about this camera is you could zoom way the fuck in with it. And I had a little mini TV and with an RCA input so I could I could like plug the camera directly into the TV and then see on the screen everything that was that the camera was seeing. So I could zoom oh, yeah. way fucking far in and just watch the the screen. And I came up with this idea. I had my friends come over to the room, and what we did is I had this, this giant bowl. I filled it with water. I'm on the ninth floor. And then my, the windows would crack like this. So they were like, they were like this, and they would just kind of open in a little bit. So if you're down below, you really can't see anything. It's just like, mm -hmm. and, and there are all the windows on this whole wall of like nine, you know, 12 stories. Some are open, some are not. So it's like, so I, I leaned the camera on its tripod so it was looking down into the courtyard. I had this big bowl of water and I would go to the bathrooms and I would get like five rolls of toilet paper. And my friends and I would watch on the TV, the, the quad below us, and we would take the toilet paper, make like snowball size, like, you know, bullets or snowballs with it. And we would wait. And when people were walking by, we would just like throw it out the window and then watch on the screen as they would like get hit by it. And then they'd be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And like have tantrums. And then we would just like smoke pot and just die laughing in our room. Just like, and then just like get the next one and just get, and we, we could never get caught. Like it yeah. was, it was. Full. That's the greatest activity. It was great. Right. And I would do it all the time. I did it for like weeks. Like how CJ, much we, how much Ivan, like. For weeks we would do this. How much would you pay for that scenario to to be able like, to do that today? Yeah, three hours to get to do that with your friends. Three hundred dollars, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And but here's the crazy part, man. So we're, we would we were doing it so much that like people people started being like, yo, like you know they walk by like looking up, you know, because we were just like right. we we're going great. And I remember one time we were doing it and. People like three floors up and away were doing the same thing. Like they got our idea you and they were throwing movement. it, but they weren't using the camera. They were just like sticking their heads out the window, throwing it. Like that's what they thought we were doing. So they thought like, oh, we were getting, they weren't being smart. And I remember I was watching on the screen. I was like, these guys are going to get caught. I don't want to be fucking around when these guys do it. And this group of like, seriously, like 12 dudes that looked like, the most dangerous 12 dudes on this whole campus like in a pack rolling deep and i was like i hope they're not going to get these guys because that would be bad and sure enough they fucking pelted one of the dudes in the group and the dudes looked up and i watched it all on the screen and they were they just went like this they were like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four and then they all ran and i was like oh my god like <laughs> And, I, and it was like that time with Timmy where like we said I knew violence was like headed to a thing. So I was like, I got to go watch. I got to go watch. So I like I, I took the stairs up and I just like went to the end of the hall and like sat down with a book, just acted like mm -hmm. I was studying. And I was just like, I am going to see like some fuck. And sure enough, the elevators open and these like 10 guys came running down the hall and they got to the door and they were just kicking the door and it, it was so scary i was like i'm i'm out of here I, this is fine i don't need to watch this like they were gonna murder this dude i was like goodbye check please oh god those, those guys like uh just they forgot the biggest part of it which is not being able to be seen yeah don't get caught morons that's crazy oh my goodness gracious
Uh, let me do some thank yous real quick. And I should run an ad, which I never do. So let me do that. If you sub, you don't have to watch the ads, people. That's the beauty of, of Twitch. But the ads are really good. Oh, they're phenomenal ads. They're, they're the best. And, and as newsboys, we get, we get only the best ads. Hang on, here mm -hmm. we go. And running it. Okay, all right. Um, the Dark What's Web your... donated. Thanks, Bud Day. Ah, donated five bucks. He says, did you guys hear about Pornhub removing all user-generated content? Nope, did not. Didn't we talk about that? I don't know. Uh, Dahlicker, go fuck yourself donated. He says, sending another donation because I don't think the first one went through. Can't wait for Mars Boys, but Fight Barn sounds amazing and needs to be made too. All right. Juicy Meat Sword 42 donated. Says, Trevor's hatred of fantasy explains so much about Buckerson and Myers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kentucky. Says, uh, sounds like Trevor's talking about Rurik Rurkrid, the Norseman that settled in Holmgarder. Jesus Christ. The Bears donated a dollar. He says, guys, where are you? I've been waiting for you guys to come back for 10 years. Guys, hey, guys. Hey, it's our buddy. Hey, the Bears. Hard business. My homie donated 20 bucks. He says, we are doing a series on Kubrick on my film podcast and just covered Dr. Strangelove. It's not good. It would have been much better if it wasn't a comedy. Oh, I, dude, I don't disagree. agree. Hard, hard disagree. Yeah, I, I disagree with you, my friend. Um, but dude, if you're doing a Kubrick podcast, I, I would love to, to talk on your podcast about Kubrick. I'm obsessed with Kubrick and I just read a book about him and I'm, I want to talk Kubrick stuff. So hit, hit me. You know um, what his first name was? Stanley? Yep. <laughs> Fucking idiot. It's a little, a little trivia. <laughs> oh what, what, a hor God. what a horrible first name to have. Stanley? You could do worse. Stanley? Stan the man. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Wait a minute. What's happening? Is there some issue going on with the ads? I feel like the mods are talking to each other. Uh-oh. It's not good when the mods are talking to each other. No, no. You don't want that. Uh, what Cyberpunk got pulled from the PlayStation Store because it's so yeah, broken? Yeah. It's so broken. They pulled it, and they're refunding everyone's money. Which is hilarious. Well, I paid for that fucking thing. Well, you can get your money back. But I'm on a PS5. Uh, can I get my money uh, back? Like, because the, to make a, mo a game like that, it takes like a decade. Oh man, you know. it's a huge game, but it is even on the PS5, it's broken. I can get my money back, rad. Um, so wait, what, that's not a drunk story though. What's your what's your favorite drunk story? Favorite drunk, drunk story? story? Oh my god, I have no idea, dude. I mean, I remember there's another time that I went out a window. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was at a party on uh, 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 not Bedford. Well, you know, we you know where that McDonald's is in Brooklyn, where the, uh, the train goes. McGinnis. Over? McGinnis. On McGinnis, there was a huge party there, uh -huh. and um, uh, people on the bottom floor started yelling, "Cops! Cops! Cops! Cops!" So I was like, "Shit, window!" Like, were you doing anything like, illegal? I was just wasted, and you know, probably yeah. had drugs. I don't know. Um, and so, like, I kind of, <laughs> and as I went to the window, there was a cop coming in. Oh no. They had a ladder. Well, they probably went up the fire escape. Yeah, that's what it was, bro. <laughs> they but had was... a ladder. That's you had a ladder? Lot. Oh, man. You bolted <laughs> this ladder all the way into the building, man. That's crazy. That's how messed up I was. I was like, but he was coming in as I was going out. And there was this moment where we stopped and he looked at me. And, I, you know, I could tell he was doing the math of like, well, do I grab this one? Or there's a whole bunch of them in there. <laughs> And I just go, I just, and I remember just being like, go get him. And I like, <laughs> I got out and I crawled down and I got away. Yeah, it's a good way to handle it. That's good. What's, uh, do you have, what's a good drunk story? I mean, I do, I feel like all my stories are drunk stories. So I don't, I don't know. It's hard for me to really differentiate what's a story about being drunk. They're all kind of the same. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll rack my brain, but. Who fucking knows? Um, yeah, what else happened? Someone said, uh, someone said, yes, we talked about the Pornhub thing. I know we talked about that. We talked about uh, well, that. Well, I, I think it was brought up, but I don't think I understood. So no user generated content. So you can't like, you and your girl can't like shoot yourselves again and again and again and be uploading it and have a channel and get. get well, I think you just have to be verified. I think you have to go through some sort of process to be uh -huh. like, you know, but they won't just let anybody. Just like, hey, here's my dick, you know. So Sam can't do his bet you can't jizz on me, unless we get Sam. Well, verified. unless we get verified, unless we get yeah. verified, yeah. Yeah. 
Pusher Man says, nah, all my stuff got pulled. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> why is that funny? I don't know. Uh, I think because his name's Pusher Man, so like immediately. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're that's just part like, of it. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, all my all my stuff got pulled. Yeah. They removed 10 million videos. They had 13.5 million. Not they are down below. Now they are down below 3 million. Wow. All right. Zach, binge watch Wrecked. Loved it. Everyone was great. And it was so funny. Wish there was more. Yes, Wrecked is streamable. My old show is streamable. It's on HBO Max. Wrecked. Check it out. Three seasons. Check it out. Three seasons, right? Yep. 30 episodes? That's, yep. Yes, sir. Um, the, uh, when is the next Buckerson and Myers coming out? I think on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday, baby. A, we we taped a, it last night. There's a big Christmas Buckerson and Myers coming out on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Um, also, yeah, what's going on this week? Oh, we should do an update on... Um, the movie? The movie. We are... Uh, uh, we are going to be recording the audio for the movie in January. So that's an official start of the production of the film. Uh, so thank you everyone who has uh, donated over the last couple of months. Um, we've gotten to the place where we can start now. Yeah. So like we are, uh, we're going to be, um, we're actually going to be recording this thing, which is great. And uh, five I, I think days of recording, right? That's what we're talking five, about. Five different, yeah, five different, five sessions. different days. And we are going to. We should record a video of us doing it. We'll, we'll keep everybody posted throughout the uh, the journey. The way that it looks now, if we keep going on the the path and we keep raising as much money as we have, we th um, our animation company thinks that the movie will be done next December. That's so, fucking awesome. Which is great. That means like by this time next year, the movie will be finished and then we can start trying to get it out there. So. And really, honestly, it's uh, this goes without saying, but the only way we're able to do this is because of you dudes here, our, our, our friends at Twitch and, uh, yes. and all of you guys for your incredible, all the donations, all the gifted subs, all the little, all the cheers, all of it fucking matters. And uh, yeah. this has been it. We've decided we're never going to make this movie the way we want to. If we go try and, and hat in hand talk to a studio, they're going to fuck us with notes. The only mm -hmm. way that we can do it the way we think it should be done is if we, you know, reach out yes. to, to you guys. So <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone who has helped. Um, uh, and thank you, Ron Gina. My God, Ron Gina. Yeah, dude. Um, but yeah, there's a lot yeah. of here. Hellcat Curro, mm -hmm. Twerkin. There's a lot of horror business. There's, there's so many that have been like consistently generous. It's pretty great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, someone said it better be funny. It is. We're, it we're, will be. We're, we're, we're very excited about it. And um, we're you know, and what we're hoping is that we can, you know, finish this movie and then like maybe like take it to a festival and sell it and then be able to make as uh, just be able to continuously make movies, mm. you know. So like every year or two, we can put out another Whitest Kids film. That's yeah. the goal. That's the uh, the business model we're trying to hit. So thank you guys. Yeah. Uh, Dick you guys Tunder, you've been awesome. Flowers fucking going off yeah thank you guys a lot of people are asking about um um uh the animation style and i think the thing that we're talking about it being closest to i mean we don't want it to be exactly like it um but like the closest is uh f is for family yeah um because we like that it's a grounded animation like it's not you know it's all very realistic. The people are kind of realistic, but the eyes are still big enough to have expression. Like King of the Hill is like realistic in a way I like, but the eyes are too small. And like Big yeah. Mouth is like too cartoony, I think. So yeah. I feel like F is for Family is like a good medium in the middle. Yeah, that's what we're aiming at. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited. You know what we should do? We should record because we're all of the all the voice so all the recording is going to be through Zoom. You know, like. We, when Darren and Timmy are doing their lines and stuff, it'll be on a Zoom call with us so we can like mm -hmm. give input and all those things. We should definitely record those Zooms and we can cut them into like funny little, you know, videos where we won't be doing spoilers or anything. That'll just be like kind of the outtakes of us, you know, fucking with each other mm -hmm. while we're doing the recording. And I feel like we could maybe 
we could maybe put those on our uh, GoFundMe if we ever fucking get that thing made. That's supposed yeah. to be Darren's job. Why hasn't he done that? The other thing um, is that uh, we, we will show you guys uh, clips all the way through. Like, yeah. you know, we're not going to, you know, uh, spoil the movie, but we'll definitely, as, as it's being made, like we will throw clips up every you know, now and then just to kind of show you guys where we are and, and what your uh, donations are, you know, yeah. doing. So thank you. And also Civil War on Drugs is going to be um, for sale very shortly. Yeah. Um, forgotten donate. God, we're getting a lot of donations right now. Pretty oh. cool. Oh, my God. All right. I can't read all the comments because there's too many, but I will say forgotten. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, I cut myself with a saw today and almost lost the use of a finger. It's looking like it'll be okay. What's the worst y'all have been hurt? It's a good story. I think I've told my my hurt story before. So my great grandfather only had one arm. Really? How? Yep. Uh, train ran over it. Jesus. Yeah. Irish. We like to drink. Sydney Applebaum donated. Thank you, Sydney Applebaum. Fat Black Ninja donated twenty bucks. He says, "Hell yeah, recording hype." Will all of you meet in the studio, or will you look into? We're doing remote recording. I wonder about the logistics of that during COVID, but fuck all that. Yeah. Um, remote. Remote. Will Guglielmo, thank you so much. Logan, Ermagerd, Ken Lango, Never Stop Swooping. Never Stop Swooping says, how does Twitch Newsboys SSS fit into Whitest Kids' future plans? These past few months of Whitest Kids content has been bonkers amazing. Thank you. Oh, um, thank you. I think we're going to keep going. I mean, right? We're not going to... Yeah. We're not going to stop. I feel like Newsboys at some point should become a podcast. That's a good idea. I, I think at some point, um, you know, like uh, we should we should turn this into something that you can listen to on Spotify and stuff like that. But right now, we're just uh, we're just having fun, you know, and um, just trying to raise money for a movie. Someone says, "But I hate podcasts." Okay, we won't do it then. Okay, sorry. That's if, a, yeah, Caliban put the kibosh on that. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, I heard that Southern California, is, is LA specifically, is the COVID capital of the world. Have you heard that? Yep. One in 20 people. Fucking one insane, in, dude. Right now, one in every 20 people is uh, infected with COVID in Los Angeles County, um, which is why I'm wearing this. That is ridiculous. Yep. And we're so close to the end. We're so close. Wrong star. We do. We need to play it soon. Yes. And we're almost about a year. So I started getting afraid of the coronavirus. Um, I remember it was New Year's Eve. Um, and I was sitting in bed and I was like looking through conspiracy sites. And uh, I'd seen it kind of bubbling up like in the, in the past week. And then um, like they were talking about how it was like it was New Year's Eve that there were some report had come out um, about how long there is no symptoms and okay. then everyone on the everyone on the conspiracy boards went ape shit and I, I hang out on conspiracy boards all the time and i've never seen the entire board react this way what did what was what was the, what were they saying people were like we're fucked like you know, okay so they they didn't not trust it they believed it no they were like because no one was really talking about it yet you were only finding it on conspiracy sites mm -hmm. but then like they were like Oh, there's like, I think at that point they thought it was like a 17 day incubation kind uh -huh. of thing where you were still um, uh, symptom free, but symptom free. Yeah. And people were like, that's not happened yet. This is bad. This is it. This is the big one. And then people started crunching the numbers being like, it's going to be hit, hit this many people by this many weeks, this many people by this many weeks, this many people like that. And so then I started buying masks and um, like I started like wiping out the grocery stores like my garage is just, just all this canned food because yeah. i didn't know how bad it was i going. did that too way before the run i went to the grocery store and bought a fuck ton of canned food a mm -hmm. ton yeah yeah so like that was so that was new year's eve so that was um you know like almost a year uh, wow. uh, which is it's just, which is nuts i remember i called you right before the the, the lockdown happened you did i don't remember this what'd you say oh uh, i was like it's gonna happen at four o'clock Oh, yeah, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah. Yep. Wait, this is funny. Pork Sweat says, some guy in Michigan sued his parents for throwing out his porn and won. That's rad. It's like that Beastie Boys song. And your mom threw away your best porn, oh, Meg. Dude, I, I had a friend in high school. I, think I, I don't think I've told the story on stream before. So uh, 
One of the things that like the punk scene back in the 90s had going for it was people would buy 7 inches, which is like little little records, vinyl, like like an LP, but it was a 7 inch, so it was like it had three songs on each side, you know, really really small. And there would be like 3 bucks at a show and I had a fucking hundreds of them and it was like so fun and the art was so cool. Anyway, but um you know, if you've collected vinyl, you know that you can't let it get too hot because it'll it'll warp and then it won't play well. And like if you leave your seven inches in your car, you know, in the summertime, they're gonna warp and you're they're ruined. Um, and my buddy Jay, he uh, he left some seven inches like, and his favorite one was in the car and it, and it totally warped, so it was like all like round. And he was like super fucking bummed, so he took it inside and he was like, he wanted to fix it. So he thought if he if he got it really hot, his plan was he's gonna get it really hot and put it on a, uh, and put it like between two books after he heated it up enough and then like compress it. So he thought he could just like press it back flat. So right. he had like a hot plate or a heat lamp. I don't really remember what. It's set up in his bedroom and he put the vinyl like on the floor. I think it was on a hot plate. Put it on the hot plate and then turned on a porno on his TV and was like, oh, well, I'm waiting for this to go. I'll, I'll, I'll jack off to some porn. But what he didn't realize is that the vinyl got on a hot plate got so hot that the fumes, like it started giving off this crazy noxious fumes. And so he's jerking off the porn and he breathes in this vinyl and he passed out. Dude, so he's that's like, awesome. He's laying there with his pants around his ankles, digging his hand, unconscious with a porno playing for a long time. His mom came in and found him unconscious in that position. Wow. I mean, God, what a fucking nightmare, dude. Anyway. How, how's their relationship now? <laughs> they haven't made eye contact in 25 years. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to say, because there was a story about... Um, I thought you were going to say the wax melted and it recorded the audio of, of the porn. Well, no, that's not how that would work. No, it isn't. But there's, <laughs> but there's, insane. but no, there's a story where it was, there was a, like an ancient, Incan, not ancient, Incan you know, you've heard this story, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and they true. basically, yeah, their way of making pottery was they'd spin it on a, on a thing and they had a needle that would do like these fine point, like, uh, like drawings in it. But so people realized, well, that's how you make a record. So they took the pots, they uh, digitally spread them out into a record and played it. And you could hear dogs barking. You could hear children yeah. uh, t- playing and laughing. And uh, it's Isn't that crazy. wild? Yeah. It's That's awesome. so cool, dude. They didn't even know they were recording their lives. It's, it's yeah. amazing, dude. It's great. I love it. So, yeah, that's where I thought you were going with that story. Uh, <laughs> now, every time he'd listen to it, it would just be him going like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It's like it's my favorite song, and I jizz all over it. <laughs> Somebody said it's bullshit that the Beastie Boys claimed all those early songs were ironic. That huh? is kind of bullshit. I agree. What do you mean? What does that mean? They claimed they were ironic. Like, like you got to fight for your right to party. Like, we didn't really want anyone to party. Well, you know, because they do those songs like "Girls." All I want is girls. Like, you know, uh-huh. their songs are kind of misogynistic. Like, uh-huh. you know, if if you if you put a a 2021 lens on it you know but like what they did was they were like well we were making fun of it and it's like just say you were young yeah you know i'm sure to a degree it's sort of ironic i I think that's that girl song is an ironic song kind of like listen to the xylophone it's like it's silly it's like they're being it's kind of like black flag when they're like tv party that's an ironic song i don't know maybe it's different Uh, i don't know I like the way that they talk. I never got into the Beastie Boys because I just thought every Beastie Boys song sounded the exact same. I remember when we met in college, you you were really into them. You had like all their shit, but but I just uh, thought like every song was like a blap on the birthday and that not That's it. That's all of the songs. I, I really liked Paul's Boutique, and I really liked um, what was the other one? The other one. Um, like I loved them in high school. You know, uh, but but yeah, no, their rhymes were always very much that A B C D E F G H J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Like you know, that's like every song <laughs> that of theirs. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's like what they did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, people are people are shouting out Paul's boutique. Okay, 
right. Paul's Boutique was great. Does it sound like that? No, it's it's well, it, the production's real trippy on it. So you know, I I have a real like like blank spot for for rap, right? Mm -hmm. I just don't have a good knowledge of rap, like, and I and I'm so ashamed to say it, but like. The rap album that I've loved the most in my life is an Eminem album, the Marshall Mathers LP. Like, it's a good album. It's a great album, but it's like I kind of am embarrassed that like my favorite rap album is like a white rapper. It's like, oh god. Right now, I do love Outkast and Kendrick Lamar, and 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 there's there's a lot of rap I do like, but but like no, I've never loved like deeply loved a hip hop album the way I've loved right. rock albums. Have you listened to Illmatic, the Nas album? Yeah. Well, a little bit. So here's actually where I'm going with this. So what, what I, about? Okay, okay, sorry. No. What? What? What were we gonna say? I was gonna say like, uh, what about Wu Tang? No, Wu Tang doesn't do it for me, man. Really? Yeah, I know. I I don't know why. I don't know why. All right. So I was like, I, I I always and I've always wanted to like it more, you know. And there's again, there's some I do really like, but but whatever. So the other night I put on I I listen to a lot of music because I fall asleep. So I just put on I was like I'm gonna listen to some gangster rap. So I put on a gangster rap playlist from Spotify. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and like it starts with a Biggie song, it was really good. And I'm like into it, and then it was like some, a bunch of Mob Deep, and then like some which Biggie Dre. song? Do you know that? which one it was? Which Biggie song was it? Dude, know? it was like the Ten Commandments of of crack. Yeah, it was so good. I was yep. it was awesome. Um, and uh, and then there's this song that came on that I was like, I was like, this is amazing. I was like, I think I could like this as much as 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 I liked that Eminem album. I was like, this is the shit. What, what, and it was, it was Everlast? No, <laughs> no I was like, going, I'm like, I'm like, what is it? What is it? And I like look at my iPad in the, in the night and I like hold it up. I'm like, who is it? And it's like, I just see the, it's Logic. And I'm like, Logic, cool, cool. And then I go the next morning, like Logic, it was good. And it's a white guy. I was like, no, yeah. it's a fucking white guy. God you damn it, dude. You found the other. Uh, I found the other white guy and I loved it. Yeah. I'm so you white. Should, you should listen to Machine Gun Kelly. Fuck that! I hate that. I have I have heard that. Hey, you like what you like. You, know? you like what you like, man. Yeah. I also hate that I like uh, little Dicky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just I like white rap, man. I, I like white rap. You uh. should listen to Cool Keith. Cool Keith. I, I don't like Cool Keith. You I should like cool I should Keith? get deeper. I should try again. I should try and get into it. Oh, I love Cool Keith. Yeah. Yeah, MC um, Chris. We know MC Chris, or we used to. I haven't talked to him in a decade. But somebody, somebody go. He's not white. I'm like, no, I know. I'm not. I'm not we're, Who's we're not trying white? To... Cool Keith. Oh, Cool Keith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like Tyler the Creator. I'm into that. I like Tyler the Creator. Listen to the Doctor uh, Octagon album. Okay, now it's just this. Snapchat's just going to be people telling me what rap to listen to, and they're saying Logic is mixed. Okay, well that's that's all right. I guess that makes it better. Like now I'm like, okay, well that's better. That's better. Like what the fuck's wrong with me? Oh, so uh, this is a good point. Is, do you like run the jewels? Well, I like the beats, but not the raps. Kidding, 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 kidding. <laughs> uh, I like run the jewels. All right. That one's because that second one is amazing. They have there's oh Lil Wayne. I fucking love. I love deeply. I love Lil Wayne for sure. And I love, I deeply love Kendrick. That damn album is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I really only like Lil Wayne's Carter 3. The Carter 3. But that record, like, is important to me, man. I it's love it. It's a great it. album. But, like, his other stuff, I'm not, I'm not into as much. But, yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, I just really outed my, my nerdiness there. That's okay, though. That's all right. But, you know, see, like, you can't know all music. No. You know, no, you know you all can't. these punk bands that I've never heard of. Yeah. You know, uh, I'd like the dog poop donated 20 bucks. Thanks, bud. Irma guard donated says my uncle and grandpa both put their thumb through a table saw same year. All right, man. Kaduli donated five bucks. Thank you. She says, Trevor, does your wife slash son wear a bubble helmet as well? No, I, d I did take pictures of my son in the bubble helmet though. Okay. Yep. Nasty porch says really love the content guys. 2011 to 2019 was really lackluster without you. Oh, thank you. After Mars. Oh, thank you. Are you considering Whitey's Kids Season 6? No. No. Uh, I, I, I feel like I can safely say we will never reunite to do another season of Sketch. I would do an hour special. Okay. Like, I think I, I would do an hour of Sketch. I could, I, could, I could deal with that. Yeah. But the idea of sitting down and being like, all right, guys, we got to write uh, 500 Sketch. Or how many do we have to write? 100 a season? Yeah. 
No, I, no. I, I just no, I think I, Whitest Kids should just do movies and this because I like doing this. This is fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, but no, I think it would be fun to do uh, one hour of sketches. Well, I'm like, it would I'm almost be fun to get about Go ahead. Mars and the thing that whenever COVID ends that you, me, and Sam will do this show, oh, American that. Legends. And that yes. I'm, I'm very excited about. I think American Legends is going to be... Midnight Cowboy Buck just donated 100 bucks. Thanks, buddy. Have you talked about American Legends? I appreciate you, Midnight Cowboy Buck. And by the way, I am thinking about your $1,000 no death run, and I'm going to make that happen. Have we talked about American Legends? Not much. Oh. Not much. I don't think we've talked yeah. about what it is. Yes, yeah, Sam, Zach, and I have a show that we were... This is all I'll say about it. We were literally about to film it, and uh, COVID happened. Yeah, we were like getting we were, ready. We were gonna fly to the city that I cannot pronounce, and we were going to uh, uh, film it. I think the Wednesday after everything is shut down on a Friday here in Los Angeles, and the following Wednesday we were going to uh, go out and shoot it. I will never forget. And we got on the phone. We were like, book it. We were going to book the tickets. We were ready to pull the trigger. And you and I got on the phone and we're like, should we do this? Is this bad? Yeah. And I remember I was in the, I was in the Sasquatch offices and I like, I talked to our office manager and I was like, should we, should we not fly to Vegas? And she gave me the most mithering, withering look. I was like, no. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't, th- I don't think we should do it, dude. <laughs> uh, but um, but yeah, that show's gonna be fantastic when we do that. It'll be so good. So once for, we, all I can say we, is, oh. it's the three of us. We shoot it on our phones. It's very running gun. It has the the tone of our Miss March auditions. So it's mm-hmm. kind of like that, where we're like exaggerated versions of ourselves. And um, yeah, ten minute episodes, real yeah. short, real good. And as soon as we all get Bill Gates microchips in our arms, we can do it. Well, we can go do it. Dude, I feel like you called me with an episode idea for that like three months ago. And we were on the phone. And I was like, dude, that's fantastic. Yes, yes, that's episode two. I love it. And then a month ago, I thought back and I was like, I don't remember what he said. Do you? I remember. I you remember. do remember? All right, good. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it, <laughs> yeah, I remember. All right. It's about somebody's wife, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, someone says, y'all guys ever been pegged? That's just really funny how that was asked. Hey, y'all, y'all guys ever been pegged? Y'all guys ever been pegged? Uh, no, I have not. Nope, me neither. No. Um, was it meant for Quibi? No, it was not meant for Quibi. Hell no, dude. Getting pegged is more of a 20th anniversary thing. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. You Somebody says, anybody? read some Miss March reviews. Oh, that would be a funny thing to do. You know what? That would be a good hype train for oh, us. If they hit great. level five, we have to read a Miss March review. And it's just be, it'll be brutal. We should do, one night, we should do a commentary on Miss March. I, on, I, on I don't think I can, man. Really? I don't know. It was hard to watch it in that Discord when they were watching it. Like, our Discord was, was having a night where they're going to watch Miss March, and they, like, invited us to join them, and I popped this in. This before we did any of this stuff. Yeah, it was long before. And I popped in to be nice. And it was, everyone in the Discord was great, but the movie was on. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it, man. See, I don't have that reaction to it. I know. Um, There's, I mean, there's there's scenes that I think are great, that I think we nailed, that I think we hit it out of the park. Uh, Your scene scene, with the bus. I think that's a great scene. I think there's, I think there's a 20 minute chunk of that movie that works exactly like we wanted it to work yeah um and then there's a lot of it that doesn't work at all yeah (laughs) you know um Mm. but yeah i don't know i just i just feel it like because when you watch our old episodes you know you'll you'll, there's a sketch that's like oh this is really good and then you see another sketch we're like geez guess we had to (laughs) fill guess we had to fill some time there yeah you know like and that's that's just what it was it's just a long version of the, the show it's you know yeah uh, have you I'm, ever what? Have you ever uh, has anyone ever been? Uh, have uh, you know anyone that's ever gotten pegged? I don't think I do. I I, I don't think so. Yeah. No one. No one's ever like been by like, a hey, woman with a strap on. Is yeah, there another I mean, way to be a, pegged? A, a, a guy wouldn't need a strap. on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. But I don't like, think so. I mean, yeah, I probably least, do, but they never. They just told don't me. talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. 
there's a lot of pegging shame in our in our society that needs to go away, right? That's because right. I would be fascinated if who do you think that we know that's most likely has gotten pegged? Timmy. Some, some, oh yeah, someone said Timmy 100. Wow, you know what? I said Timmy, and then I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think Timmy's been pegged. Uh, Miss March I, reviews, I, please and thanks, says prop it like it's hot. Uh, and like, Benjamin Clark donated 10 bucks, says tell Jaden Coleman guy to suck a fuck. Love you, Zach. You're like, you're in on a cool summer breeze. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know about the whole pegging thing. That's, uh, I, I, I don't see the appeal. Yeah. It seems like it would be, uh, I mean, I, seem, it, I think it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, someone says, "I bet Darren is a cute little butthole." Yeah, I just saw that's that. A, that's a nice comment. Yeah. Well, you added the word "cute," the word "little" in there, which I think actually oh, elevated I? the comment, which was. Hey, good. I just. Yeah. I try to. I try to punch up. The um, appeal is your prostate getting pounded. Yes. You know what? I don't think I've ever stuck a finger deep enough to really feel the the prostate pleasure sensor before. I I'm squeamish. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. Uh, but the idea of it is great. Yeah, maybe. I, like, maybe we're missing out. Probably. Like, there's this whole other part of your body that is so much better that because that's what you hear. You know. Yeah, I don't. But, like, first of all, I don't believe that. I really don't, don't believe, don't believe that. That no. I'm sure it feels good, but there's no way it feels better than an orgasm. Who knows? I, no way, dude. Because if it was, guys, everyone would be like, "Dude, no, it is," and you got to do it. It would be like a thing. Like everyone would do it. Dude, when I was a kid, we only had Pizza Hut in our town, and I uh, thought Pizza Hut was the greatest fucking pizza in the world. And I was like, you cannot get better than Pizza Hut. Every time I would read a book for school, I would try to read as many books as I can every week so I could get a free personal pan pizza, because I was like, this is the greatest. And then, when I moved to a big city, I discovered Domino's, and I was like, this fucking Pizza Hut is bullshit. Like, you know, <laughs> like, you only know what you know. Like, yeah. maybe it's amazing. Although, I will say, I think... On my, if I was on like death row, and they're like Pizza Hut or Domino's, what's it gonna be? I would go Pizza Hut. What? Yeah, but the problem is the reason I always get Domino's in my life. Because the cheese is, and the crust, cheese and the crust. No, it's just the, the the grease. The Pizza Hut crust is so greasy; it tastes so good, but Ooh. you feel so gross after you eat it. Papa John's, get the fuck out of here with Papa John's. No way, dude. Papa John's. Tomato sauce is like pure sugar. It's like too sweet. It's like I'm eating dessert. I don't like it. See, I bet that's the same as finger blasting your butthole. Is like it probably feels so good, but then you feel disgusting when you. <laughs> and you got to go wash your hand. You're like, ah. Like, oh no. Uh. Papa Murphy's. What are you talking about? I, it is hard. The chat is moving real fast, guys. Real someone fast. Says, someone, I know it is. It's going real fast, which is good. Yeah. It means there's a lot of people in here. By the way, I just want to say, because I keep track of this kind of shit. Um, <laughs> this week uh, on the VOD channel, Newsboys got a little more views than uh, Self Suck Saturday. Is that yeah. normal? No. It's, it's, it's a constant trend. Hey. It's a constant trend. Now, I, I, how, how were our live views last weekend? Did Newsboys get more than SSS? Well, here's the thing. It's impossible to tell. Yes, it did. Um, it did? But, Newsboys but did? Not, no, 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 no. Oh, SSS uh, did. SSS did by, by a little. Um, but when you look at the analytics, um, ours doesn't, because uh, it does the average for the whole day. So sometimes if somebody's on earlier in the day or later mm. in the night, it affects it. Whereas on Self Suck Saturday, it's only that show. No one else does anything on Saturday. Right. So. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I actually think we're really closely tied. I feel like right now, my thing says we have 1322 viewers. I don't know how accurate that is. Somebody in ch chat, how, ma how many people are in here? I feel like chat can always see how many, but I can't. Mine says 1279. 1279, okay. Yeah. My thing's always is not, way behind. It's not bad. You know what does bother me is that we're not growing as fast as I would like. You know, we've, we're holding, you know, and thanks to all of you, all of you viewers, uh, Newsboys Nation, 
um, like, you know, it's consistent. We are consistently in the 1200 range mm -hmm. uh, every time we do this. And, and, and we don't we don't fluctuate like some of the other shows. Um, but I but we got to we got to tell our friends. We got to tell our family members. Um, you know what I think would be a great Christmas gift for your family members, your, your parents, your grandparents would be a subscription to our channel. <laughs> so that they could you could share the love of cuz it's hard it's hard to uh, uh talk to older people you know or younger really mm. cuz there's a generational divide and i think this show kind of bridges that divide so what a better way i mean if if you get your grandparents and your aunts and uncles into newsboys next uh thanksgiving then you're gonna it's gonna be a, a dream because it's not gonna be like awkward you'll be like oh remember when they were talking about the uh the pizza hut you know so people are throwing out some good suggestions we need we need sub goals and and shit like that which i you know what you're right and i should talk to derek about how to make that happen he's probably been telling me that forever and i just am not retaining it sub goals would be good and also we need to the, somebody was like you need to put more clickbait shit up there shorter YouTube videos for our YouTube that can like hook people in. So like I used to be real rigid about making, I would cut little chapters from our newsboys, put it up on the YouTube, like when we tell stories. Mm. That but was also, great. Also, we haven't been telling a lot of stories lately in the last two months, I feel. We like. told stories tonight? Tonight we did. Maybe I'll throw up like uh, Gabe in the Bathroom of Doom and, um, and the toilet paper thing. Yeah, those would be good stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we should still do that. And and I I I've been derelict of duty as well because I you know, but I think both of us have been busy this last uh, couple months. Yeah, so, it's been it, um, it's true. Um. Yeah. Deep boys. Deep boys. What what do we we're, got? We're, we got five minutes to do a deep boys. We're five minutes. No, we can go a little later, right? Yeah, a little bit. Um, so yeah, like uh, who who of your um, celebrity friends have cheated on their wives? <laughs> Let's get real deep. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Um, nobody talks to me about anything uh, secretive. Yeah, it's interesting because I feel like you'd be very trustworthy. I would trust you with a secret because you have such a rigid morality. I I, I think your OCD or your 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 sense of Looming yeah. guilt would never let you violate the trust. Yeah. I also think I, I, I work hard to not get close to many people. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's, here's, I wonder if this will trigger, I think this will trigger a deep boys conversation, even though this has nothing to really to do with, with us. So one time I was at work, I was shooting guys with kids. I was on set. Mm -hmm. Anthony Anderson's, he had a body double. He had like a stand-in that was like his stand-in on every movie and show he's ever done. It's this guy Roger. He's a very, very nice guy. He, he's he's Anthony's size and 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 shape and all that stuff. Yeah. And Roger's just like this really jolly guy. And he he on, on his weekends he always works with kids, you know. And he does. I think he does like a like a Barney birthday party situation and all that stuff. It's really weird. Anyway, what does that mean? What's that? What does that mean? He does a Barney. Like he dresses birthday? up like Barney the dinosaur and will like do birthdays and shit like that. Or whatever. Anthony Anderson? No. Roger. His double. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, this is not like, what pertinent a fucking to this. weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> no, Anthony, believe me, Anthony, you don't know. Um But uh I would walk around set. I have re here's where I'm getting. I have resting bitch face, right? Like my normal. This is me normal. And I just, I guess I give off like I'm in a bad mood. Like I think I just I, kind of radiate that. I've known you for uh, decades and I would say it's beyond that. Beyond? Like, yes. You um, just have aggressive body language. Like um, when, whenever anyone, whenever we'd be writing, and I would only notice it when we'd write at my house, you know, but we'd always write at different people's houses. But like you can't shut a cupboard quietly or like a like a normal person does you slam everything shut <laughs> so you do everything as if you're pissed off like and you're not like and i know that but like you know when you're like grabbing something it's grabbing and like slamming and like kicking like it's like it's very aggressive all of your movements like kind of that huh it's yeah interesting bad. you know i know you're right it's just yeah. I, you know it's funny caitlin my ex 
would always make fun of me because I would eat my salads. I would like stab the fork into the salad. Yeah. And she'd be like, she'd be like, look how you eat salad. I'd be like, what? She's like, yeah. you're like stabbing it like you want to kill it. And I was like, you got to get all the lettuce on. You can't just like gently press. You got to get the lettuce on the salad. Like, it's like no one understood. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's like, it just takes a while to get used to, but it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, cause, cause you'd be someone at your house and be like, bang, bang. And you're like, <laughs> You're like, oh, Zach's looking for a cup. You know, he's not this. It's so funny, dude. I did not know that about myself, honestly. Yeah. This is so news think, to me. So I think, like, it, you know, it, it might be, like, you're just a very, your aura is angry. Yeah. So anyway, so one time, dude, I, I, and he would do this to me a lot. I was walking past Roger, and he was, like, he was, like, sitting, reading a book or doing whatever his thing. And I'm just walking past, minding my own business, and he would go, smile, Zach. Oh. And and that's annoying. Yeah, and one time I was in a bad mood, and he and I walked past me. He's like, "Smile, Zach," and I and I stopped, and I was like, "Don't fucking say smile to me, dude. Don't do it, because I'm not in a bad mood." And then you say it, and then you put me in a bad mood. It's really inappropriate, actually. Like you don't know what the fuck's going on with me. Like don't tell me how to how to look. Don't fucking tell me how to wear my facial expressions. I have resting bitch face. And like and as I'm saying it, I'm realizing like I'm being so unaggressive. <laughs> That's the funniest thing in the world, though, to like chew someone out like that, and then at the end be like, "I have resting bitch face." Like that's <laughs> what it is. Like you're like, "Fuck you!" I fucking hope you and your children die. I want to see the light of life. Yeah, I wanna, fuck you, you piece of shit. Choke on my cock and die. I have resting bitch face. People think I'm mad because of the way my face is. <laughs> I'm not actually mad. You fuck. <laughs> Oh, man, it just made me so fucking angry. Anyway, so the Deep Boys, I guess how I thought I was going to get into this Deep Boys somehow was like, like blind spots. Like, how do you, like, do you feel like you have a good command of how you are perceived? Like, no, not at all. Yeah, you, because I don't, I think you don't. And I, no. that's not a thing on you. I just, I, I feel like you, in, in the way that I radiate, like, maybe anger. I think you you project like aloofness. If that's a word, I don't know if aloofness is Maybe. a word. Maybe I don't know. I don't know about that. I, uh, I've never thought about that. That I project aloofness. But I don't know. I'm not even sure. This is just. I'm kind of like having this. This. I'm sort of thinking out loud here. What were you gonna I, say? My thing is that I notice sometimes, like you know. Uh, when uh you know i always think of myself as like the voice of reason in any group that i'm in you know in in any group you're in most groups that i'm in <laughs> and then uh i've noticed on occasion where i'll be like i'll take care of this and then everyone's like no 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 like and i'm like oh wait is this not how people see me like you know kind of thing like where i'm like oh am i the am i <laughs> <laughs> am i crazy am i the crazy guy so, because I'm just like, all right, because it's happened a lot where I'm like, I got this, I got this, I got this. And it was like, no, 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 let someone else take it like that. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah, but I, I, I understand. First of all, I understand why you would think of yourself that way, because in my experience, you generally are the you're, you're incredibly level headed. So I think what you here Here's what it is. I know what it is about you. Emotionally, you're fucking cool as a cucumber. Mm -hmm. You are not, you are, you're like not led by emotion. So if someone's right. screaming at you, you're not affected. You don't take anything personally, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. However, when it comes to like common sense stuff, you don't have it. So that's why I could understand people are like, no, 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 you, I, I'll take over. Don't, no, Trevor, no. Like, so you have an incredible sense of how to communicate with people about a lot of things and you can navigate situations that would be very challenging for me to navigate if they're, you know, you know, like for me, like if let's say a hypothetical Darren were to say something that really riled me up, I'm using him because mm -hmm. that would never happen. Like right. it would fuck my week up. You, you would just be like, well, I'm just going to ignore it. And it would be like over. You know what I mean? Right. But if it was like, we have to, I'm trying to think of an example of where you would blow it. Well, I'm constantly, I mean, like back in the day, I'd always be like, let me talk to the cops, <laughs> you know? And, and then people would be like, no, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. Or you know how, or, or like how logistical things work. Like what would be the most efficient way to do something? I feel like, although that's not right. true. I feel like you, I don't know, man. This is a tough one. I don't know. It's not very deep either, but it's interesting. It's okay. We don't have to. We don't have to go. We don't have to cry. You don't want to force it. 
you don't want to force a deep voice. That wouldn't be fair to the audience. <laughs> um, um, hmm. Yeah, but that's that's uh, that's. Um, I, I, I do not think that I see myself the way that people around me see me. I think I, I think I have a uh, a blind spot there. Mm. Well, I think that people you're always very nice to like people who know you from the show. You're always you're always very very warm, very kind. However, mm-hmm. I feel like if somebody didn't know you from the show, like if you're in a in a situation where like people are meeting you at a party, you, I, I can only imagine you must be one of the most difficult people to approach. That's true. I I don't enjoy talking to people. Yeah, and and I think that is that is clear from the get go. You you could have like an invisible sign that just says like don't talk to me. Yeah. I remember, I remember one of the, what, what, back in the day, one of the things I would always like, uh, be like really like thankful for is I was like, thank God, uh, in this comedy troupe, there's four other people who love talking to people, you know, <laughs> like, cause we had all these friends, but I was like, I never, I mean, I would, they would just eventually become my friend because they were friends with you guys, you know, but I'm not going to go talk to somebody. Like I, I would hang out at the back of the bar with Greg Johnson and Dan Neubauer and just kind of like talk shit. Like that's mm. what I like to do at a thing. Like, you mm. know, I like to, and it's still to this day, if I go to a party, I'm going to hang out with you or Sam or something like that. And I, I don't, I don't want to meet new people. I'm never trying to meet anyone. You know? But then again, you always become... People, pe- pe- everyone that does get in, you always form really, really tight bonds with. Right. People, people adore you. Truly, I mean, it's good. It's great. Like yeah. you, you, yeah, you've got it. You've got the icy thing, but then once you're in, you're in, and it's good. Um, how, how does that manifest? I mean, is, it, is it just? Am I? Am I like? There's just a, there's a, re- a radiation of like of like don't talk to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like it's like literally body position. You know, I feel like you yeah. you will like maneuver your your shoulder in front of mm-hmm. <laughs> you know people. You're always against the wall. Yeah. If you're at a party, you're not in the middle ever. No. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Hmm. Pick them apart, Zach. No, no, no. Um, no, I think all that is valid. I think all that is. Valid. I also don't think uh, it's bad. Yeah. Because I mean, it's like, yeah. it comes down to energy expenditure. Like, back in the day, like, maybe at a party, I would talk to 50 people and I would have one real conversation, you know what I mean? Where you would have, like, two, two people you talk to and have probably a great conversation the whole night long. I would just be running around yeah. doing bullshit. Well, we're constantly, whenever, back in the old days when you could go out, you know, like... It's it's almost like a little kid. Like before we would go into anywhere, my wife is always like, "Now be nice to everyone," you know. Like you know. Did you say that to your son? No, to me. Oh, to you? Yeah, she's like, "All right, we're gonna go in here. Be nice to people." Like you know, kind of thing. Like you know, and then yeah. go in, like you know, so it, it's a real thing. I get it. But dude, I, I I have stuff like that with my wife too. Like there's this place in Highland Park. It's like a hippie handmade homemade soap store. And so the whole mm-hmm. point of the soap is that like they're trying to be like zero carbon footprint. So you got to bring in your own soap containers and then they have these big jugs and you pump the soap into your home brought jugs. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you get me? Yeah. It's so fucking broken. Like so I'm I'm in there with these like we bring these big mason jars with like little bottle necks and I'm like squeezing the thing and it takes 20 minutes to fill up one of these things. It's like soap is so thick and it's like coating my hands and it's like every five pumps I have to like wait 10 seconds for it to like an air bubble do a thing. And I'm asking, I'm like, do you guys have like a, a pipe cleaner so I can like expedite this? And they're like, we, we have this one here, but it's $6. I'm like, so I could just use it. I'm trying to use it to get your product. And they're like, yeah, I could sell you a pipe cleaner. I'm like, to get to fix your fucking jar. And I'm like, I'm like getting real pissed. I'm in there for 40 minutes just pumping. And I'm like, this sucks. I was like, this system, the system that you have here is terrible. Like, this is broken. And I get back in the car and I'm like complaining. I'm like, that was fucking garbage. Like, that place is going to go bankrupt and I fucking hope they do. You know, blah, blah, blah. And Sarah's mm-hmm. like, you were so mean. You're like so, you embarrassed me in there. Like, you're like yelling at these people. Like, well, they don't know how their fucking store should work. Like, and I'm just like, yeah, I have no self-awareness. I'm like raging at strangers. This has nothing to do with anything. I don't know why I just no, but it, into this. No, I get it. I get it. 
like I like I do that stuff and then I always feel bad and I have to go back and apologize like you know like that's my like like uh last October October in the real in the in the old world um there was this person who just kept driving like speeding through my neighborhood uh-huh you know and she lives like three or four houses down from me and she would just recklessly be speeding down this thing it i i it annoyed me and then one night i'm walking my dog and i'm drunk and she's coming i hear her coming and like i know i know it's her and so she comes around the corner and i just stepped out in front of her car and she slams on the brakes oh my like god that. Dude. and then she gets out and she goes she goes what the fuck is wrong with you i could have hit you i was like yeah stop driving like an asshole in the neighborhood and uh good for you she, good no but then she was like and she was like fuck you i'm like hit me oh like dear, come and on. I, I start i start yelling hit me like with her car i mean with her car like that. <laughs> and she gets terrified and she's like basically like i don't need any of this suicidal shit and she get in my car i'm like yeah fuck you like uh, and then she <laughs> drives <laughs> she's like three bounces down from me oh and my so, god so I go back inside. Uh, you tell Amy. Off. I'm like, uh, 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 I think I drank too much tonight. And uh, <laughs> I think so then the next 48 hours, I'm just miserable. Really? Right? I, just stewing. I'm like, why couldn't I like, you know, you know, just let it happen. Let, let it go. Like, why do you have to like. So then I kept going by her house and like she was never there. So and you then, you mean going by like knocked on the door? I wanted to, but there was like never a car there and I would just go by with the dog and I was like, I want to apologize. But it's like, that's going to be scary if I like show up like the guy who's just like, fuck you, hit me. Like I'm <laughs> knocking on her door. Like there's no way to win. Like, so. You could write a note and leave it in her mailbox. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It was just, it just sucked. Wait, Trevor, tell the story about the time at your old house when we all hung out and got wasted. And then I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. But remember, it, it ended with you knocking oh on your neighbor's door? I haven't told this story. No. All right. I'm trying to think. I, I'm going to make I'm gonna make changes to the story. Okay. Does that mean lie? Yeah. I feel like I need to do strategic lying here. Um, all right. Yeah. No, I do. I do. Um, so... Wait, is it about the, oh. <laughs> the story will be the same. <laughs> it's in the past. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. Actually, it's 10 years in the past now. Yeah, I, I don't think you can get in trouble. Okay, so I'll, 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 I'll tell the story. So I had a, I, I, it was, uh, I just bought a house. It was my first house that I, I, I bought, like, you know, kind of thing. Um, and I, you know, had a huge party um because i was like this is gonna be great like we'll have everybody over like you know this will be like you know like fun and everything like that and so i had uh bought a bunch of paintball guns and um so there was a game where I, we, we would and i had a big deck that was on a hill and so i was like we'll have five people up here with paintball guns and i had five masks it was so five. fun Five people at the bottom of the hill. And the thing is, you had to rush up the hill. And if you could touch the house without getting shot with a paintball gun, then you got to be up with one of the paintball guns. And then someone else had to go down. So it was this great game we were doing. And it was fun. And we're shooting, we're shooting, we're shooting, we're shooting. And, and screaming and, and screaming. Yeah. yeah. So as a housewarming party, as a housewarming gift, somebody had uh, 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 purchased uh, uh, some ecstasy, <laughs> and and they gave me this thing of ecstasy, and I had not done ecstasy in probably seven or eight years. So I was like, uh, uh, "Thank you. I'm not going to do it, but thank you, thank you." Like you know, kind of thing. I didn't say I'm not going to do it. I was like, "Thank you. Oh, it's awesome." But I was like, "I'm not going to do it." Um, and so I put them in my closet. And so we're, we're, we're doing the paintball game. And uh, it, it, anyway, it gets to being like two in the morning and we're running up the hill. And then all of a sudden my neighbor opens the window and is like, what the fuck is going on with you guys? He's like, is this what it is? 
you're gonna move here and this is what's happening because it was really our first week there and oh, we man. like had forgotten that we were just screaming and shooting each other at like you know two in the morning and he was like this is fucking irris ir like irresponsible like all the stuff i like got and i'm like oh my god i felt i felt horrible because i really had not thought about it yeah. like you know i didn't think about my neighbors at all i had lived in an apartment up until this point i thought living in a house you weren't but i forgot you still have neighbors um so i feel bad it really kills the party like that guy yelling like everybody goes home i'm wasted at this point I, i've drank so much my wife's already gone to bed um and so everyone leaves and i'm like sitting in my my house and i'm like oh i just feel like fuck i fucked this up like you know like and then i was kind of i got some like alcohol thing where i was like whatever man don't be afraid of this like you own this place like you know like so you, you made a mistake tonight don't be scared like you know like don't be you don't have to be scared of anything you don't have to be scared of that fucking ecstasy in your in your closet oh boy you know like you know someone gave you a gift and like you're like scared don't be fucking scared i'm like yeah fuck that so i open it up i eat all the ecstasy and then i go to bed <laughs> like immediately i pass out so cut to an hour later i wake up now i'm so wasted i've forgotten that i've taken the ecstasy but i wake up in an incredible mood because it's just kicked in <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like, oh man! I was like, oh, it's, still, it's only three in the morning. What the fuck am I doing in bed? Like, let me get up. Let me like, uh, you know. And then I remember the the guy yelling at me, and I was like, oh shit! Like, you know, he's like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta nip this in the bud. We're we're neighbors. Like, you know, I've gotta, I've gotta make this right. So I go over to his house. I knock on the door at three, three in the, the morning. Three in the morning. I knock on the door. Um, <laughs> oh my god dude he opens the door and sees me i'm like hey dude sorry about the paintball stuff like um <laughs> i'm new here like and and he was like you're fucking drunk and i'm like i'm like yeah but i was like but that's how important it is for me to to make this right is because i don't even want to wait to get sober man i just want to make this good i'm sorry we're neighbors that's more important than family I, I remember saying that that's more important than family because we're right beside each other i don't see my parents at all i don't see like you know oh, and... so then then it's like blackout like i don't remember <laughs> but then i go and i wake up amy i'm like i just talked to the neighbor she's like huh you know she's asleep uh and then i'm still awake i can't go to sleep so i'm like oh I go around and i was like uh i was like eh, you know it's on the east coast it's 6 a.m i'll call my parents i'll call my parents so i call my parents at 6 a.m and they're like hello because they know it's 3 a.m for me and i'm like hey um so i just want to talk you know what like i never like thought that the bible was like the literal word of god like for some reason oh. i like go into like deep theological religious <laughs> stuff with them and, and what so, are they, what's their reaction they're like uh are you okay like what is well, you know they basically they're like it's three in the morning what are you doing um do they think drugs i'm sure anyway so then like time skip again like i call my grandparents oh my god dude i, ne I never talk to my grandparents like, you know, and I call them and I'm like, you guys treated me different because I was born in New Jersey and everyone else was born in the South. And so I was the Yankee and you guys never treated me like a real grandson. And like when and, and, and when we would all play Civil War, you made outfits for everyone else that were Confederate outfits and I didn't get one. And I had to be on the Yankee side all by myself and I'd get my ass kicked. And that's not how the war went my side won and like you and, oh and so, like God. all this shit and so then like i hang up i go to bed i finally can go no, to no. bed like no no you called me did i i don't remember calling and you, you. And, and you never remember calling me too I've, I've told you this and every time i tell you this you're like no yeah yeah what you I called say? me and I, I answered and you're like hey man i was like hi and you're like how you doing you doing all right i'm like yeah, like I just saw you. Like, yeah, I'm fucking drunk. I'm sleeping. You're like, yeah. I just okay, cool. I just want to check in and see, like, you know, what's up? I just like nothing's up, dude. 
goodbye. Are you okay? You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, bye, bye, fuck. You know, that's like crazy. <laughs> what time was it? It was, I don't think it was three in the morning. I think it was like, I think it was like seven, but maybe I'm wrong. It was, it was oh, very early. I was up for a long time. Yeah. And so then I finally went to bed and I wake up at like three in the afternoon and my wife's like, are you all right? And I'm like, <laughs> uh, and I'm like, uh, uh, I think I, I think I did like, I think I really fucked up last night. I get, <laughs> And what's happened during the day is she's like, oh, well, we're going to dinner. I'm like, oh, fuck. But it's like, it, you know, like, so I hate going to dinner. So I'm going to dinner and I just like, it's one of those things where I'm sweating, probably because I'm like hungover, but also just like, I am like, like just, you know, just guilt and uh, shame and all of this just like pouring, like I'm basically having a panic attack. Like, how did I managed to fuck up so deeply like on, in so many different areas but of my life are you are, what, what's the worst is it the neighbor is it your grandparents is it your it's parents all of it it's all of it it's all of it like and, and do you think and, it's just the, the serotonin depletion from the e it's all of it it's all and I, i'm just like this is this is horrible like you know panic attacks panic attacks kind of thing. two days go by my neighbor uh texts me it's a number i don't know and uh he's like hey this is rick your neighbor um are we still on for brunch this weekend oh my god <laughs> and <laughs> and i don't know what to do it's the and best like, ending to the story in the world no i'm like okay like and, and i like yeah like that and then i'm confused i'm like I guess I'll call my parents. I haven't talked to anyone for like 48 hours. I call my parents and before I can even say anything, I go, hey, and they're like, hey, good to talk to you. They're like, we just wanted to say, it was so nice that you called us a couple days ago. And it's so great that you feel comfortable enough to talk about these kind of differences that we have. Like, it just felt like you were really opening up to us and it was just like, it was just really great. And your grandparents called and they were so excited that you had called them because you hadn't talked to them for like months and they just thought it was just, it, they just, it was really, it touched them. And they, you know, we want you to know that. And it blew my fucking mind because you're just so used to with alcohol, you black out and you go and you destroy things in your life. But with ecstasy, <laughs> You black out and you go repair damage you didn't even know was amazing. There. Like, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. That's why therapists used to use it in like marriage counseling and stuff. Yeah, I was just unkinking things in my brain. Like, you know. Wow. And so, did you go to brunch with your neighbor? We became tight. Are like, you kidding? It was, no, no, no. We 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 went to brunch and we started doing brunch. And they were an older. That, that's the other thing. They were like a good 20, 30 years older than us. Like, like it was, you know, but we became like, it became a regular brunch thing. Like once every couple of months, we'd all do brunch. And like, they were really sad when we moved. Like it was, you know, we became like really tight. Like, yeah. Dude, that's an amazing story. Yeah. That's a good one. I Look, can't believe I have it. That's Newsboys Hall of Fame right there. Ah. Yeah. I love ah. it. Um, yeah, I'll post that shit. That's wild, dude. Yeah. So, the shit should be illegal. The shit should be legal. You know, like, I think therapists could use it. Yeah, I think so, too. I think there's definitely a, a place for it. I, I feel like, it's weird. I, I'm, I'm definitely in the camp of, like, legalize everything. I feel like all drugs should be, because people are going to do it. But I do worry, like, if my kid was doing shrooms and pot and stuff, I'd be like, go nuts. You know, do it up. If my kid was, like, recreationally, like, abusing... E, I would be scared because that can yeah. like burn your fucking chemicals out and you can get super depressed if you if you yeah. go too hard on that stuff. I think it's all like, I mean, like, I guess what we know now is that like the, the human brain isn't even fully formed until you're like 25 or something like mm -hmm. that. And I do think it's like, it's a bummer because like, you know, when you want to be exploring all this stuff is when you're young, but it's also... Like, I, I think that there is something to, like, someone says microdosing. Yeah, yeah. Microdosing, 
Yeah, but even 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 pot, like you know, you don't want to be smoking too much pot in high school because then, because pot, like uh, you know, you you might not just you might not be motivated. Right. Like, as as lame and old as that sounds, like I'm not gonna say don't smoke pot, you know, but like you don't want to be doing it every day when when you're at the point in your life where you're trying to set your life up. Yeah. You know, I feel like South Park kind of nailed the pot thing the best. They were like the real problem with pot is like it makes you okay with being bored and you know when you're young being bored is like that's the time we're supposed to do things like learn a new skill or like meet people or have an adventure and if you're cool being bored you're gonna miss out on that so that's really the thing i was like wow that's so well put yeah and on the other hand some people need it you know, some people, yeah. Some, I mean, it, it is a, it is a a a, a medicine, you know. Yeah. And like, so it's not there's not there's not it's not there's not one thing for everybody. Like, you know, some people need that to fucking like you know deal with fucking life. You know? Yeah, I really like that uh, shrooms are legal in a lot of states now. I think that's just good for everybody. Shrooms absolutely should be legal. Hundred percent legal. It's uh, it's just there to teach you things. Yeah, it's great. Um, I think we hit it, man. I think we, I think this is a good time. We're at nine twenty four. I feel like we, this is a high note. We can we can hang our hat on. All right. Uh, let me do some thank yous real quick. No scope, JFK. Thanks, buddy. You missed the whole stream. That's all good. I appreciate you. Tazu for you. One of our all stars. Thanks, buddy. Says Trevor is literally telling the best story. This is gold. I agree. Twerking. Donated says you guys should open a novelty restaurant. I'm sure Hulk Hogan's place has flopped by now. Could pick up the property on the cheap. Okay. I love Zach's stories. Donated three bucks says I love the stories. What about the guy with the cane you wouldn't talk about? Uh, Okay. The guy with the cane. I think I know what he's referencing, but uh, I don't want to throw any more fuel on that fire. Got it. Um, All right, dude. Good stuff. Good news, boys. We, we, did we did it, it again. It. We never miss. We never miss. Everybody um, in chat, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for donating and gifting. Ronjina donated 100 bucks. Says, hey, Zach, what's up, Ronjina? Thank you, my man. It just came through right now. Uh, incredible. Um, big ass bus hey, driver. Thanks, dude. Hey, uh-huh. I got a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next Friday is Christmas. Well, we, I can't do Newsboys then. No Newsboys next week. Well, I mean, actually, may- no, I don't think I can. Okay. But we could text. Uh, we could text. Maybe. Stay tuned. There may not be a Newsboys next week. There may be. There may be. You know what? Let me figure it out. I'll know, I'll know soon. There, there's a chance. There's a okay. chance. You would be down so with it? Maybe. I got to check, too. Okay. Like, it, it depends on what my, my, uh, my wife's family is requiring of me on that day. That's exactly uh, my situation. Yeah. Um, but I would say I am open to doing a New Year's Eve whitest kids countdown because it's not like anyone can do anything on New Year's Eve anymore. Mm. Like we can't go out. I would be down to doing a New Year's Eve and we count it down through all the time zones. I like that. I think that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. And we should set up some goals, some financial goals, turn into a big mm-hmm. fundraising thing for the movie. I think that's a good idea. Um, yeah. It'd be fun. That's a good one. All right, cool. Um, All right. All right, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds like Saturday. Tomorrow at 7, everybody. We'll see you then. Newsboy Nation, we love you. Thank you. Love you, Newsboy Nation. Later, dudes. Bye. Bye. All right. That's done. Uh, Guys, you want me to raid anybody? Hang on a second. Let me me do this. Are we raiding? I don't know who to raid. I never never know who to raid. Um, Always be raiding. Raid dropped. I'm down, I'm still down to do it. Raid Tolomeo, raid Jesu T- Jesu TV. Let's try Jesu TV. I have no idea who that is. Jesu TV. It's music. Nope, she has two thousand people. I'm not raiding somebody with thousands of people, guys. Raid f- random five viewer channel. That's what I want. Raid piss on piss on me. Beat me sixty nine. No, cranky old dude. Let's try cranky old dude. That sounds fun. Cranky old dude. He's got 13 people. Let's do it. Be nice to him. Don't 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 go in there yelling. Go fuck yourselves. I think this will be funny. He's got 13 people. I want to stick around and watch this. Um, 
Sorry, Ron John. I already started. Horror Amarada. I, 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 this has already begun. All right, everybody. Thanks. Peace out.